So what we get early? So what we smoke nothing? How could this happen? Uh, well, first off, nothing ever happens. That's the first thing you need to know. The second thing you need to know is I'm a situations guy. I'm a context guy. I'm, I did not fall out of a coconut tree. I am often late because of the context surrounding my mornings, which is that my daughter leaves for daycare at like 930 Sometimes the, the handoff in the morning gets a little bit, you know, fuzzy depending on wake up times and stuff like that. But now her daycare is on holiday for a little bit. So she's in a different activity and that starts at nine, which means she out the house by 820, which means I'm fucking chilling, dude. Kind of sick, right? Does this mean end early too? I hope not. But sometimes it depends on, you know, if somebody comes down the stairs and says, hey, I need you right now. That's something I, I can't predict the future. I can, only, I can only predict the past. And even then it's a little bit fuzzy, honestly. Okay, the game of Sisyphus. By the way, I don't know if it's, if it's for sure... But I believe, as of right now, the tentative plan is Jackbox at noon. And if you had told me, like, here's the message verbatim, okay? If you had told me a year ago, two years ago, that after Jackbox, on a Thursday, I would get a message on Discord. I'm not going to say who it is. Get a message on Discord that said we should jackbox tomorrow again because we didn't do wheel today. I would have I would have said that's not plausible. I would have said everybody hates jackbox now. Jackbox is dying. Nobody wants to play with me anymore. And it turns out, brother, they're loving every minute of it. It's not mouth, man. It was it was not mouth. I swear it to you. That is not a, a Chib message. Chib's messages were literally what he said when he joined the call yesterday. I'm Bengal, you're Funkus. Gonna bend you in half and smack your Tunkus. I'm Bengal, you're Funkus. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot this game is uh, bad. Give me a second. Ah! I forgot how to stream. I don't mean bad like it's it's not fun to play. I mean bad like it's uh, th there's some poorly made elements of it. I.e. it uses 130% of my RAM when I switch tabs. So just give it a second. Give it a second. I think we're gonna, we're gonna do this right here. Also, if I if I have it on screen, watch this, okay? If it's not the active window, the text doesn't load. It's the first time I think I've ever seen that. You're like, wow, what a what a strange cinematic scene. Well, guess what, brother? It's actually the menu. It's just when I'm alt tabbed out of the game, the text disappears. That's, that's a new one. I ain't mad at them. You know, the, the UI is one of the hardest things to do in, in a game engine, maybe. Because, I mean, for programming, all you have to do is, uh, oh, if the arrow key down is right, then, you know, apply force in the X direction or, like, move, move pixels in the X direction. UX, you, it's always like you got to get a text box, but then you put the text box on screen. Then you launch it in different resolutions and it scales the text box. And you're like, oh, you idiot. You got to wrap the text box in, like, a text box element or UX element envelope that dynamically scales to the resolution. But then, like, as soon as you do that, like, the font breaks and you're like, how does this even work, man? How does this even work? Throw in a div. Excuse me, this is not HTML5 or otherwise, okay? I'm going to guess that this is probably C-sharp made in Unity. 
over a weekend or something, but that's fine. Yes! No, no, no! <laughs> please, please, I waited so long. Hold. Good start, good start. Oh, man. It's actually not that bad because I thought we'd be starting from zero today anyway. All right, it froze and broke. No, 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 we're still chilling. Okay, cool. Saved. Saved and saved. And saved and saved. Oh, uh, do you use your hands anymore? Or like, what, what's up with that, Sisyphus? A Bitcoin has just finished mining. Congrats to them. I think that's increasingly rare, right? In today's modern world. Back in 2010, when my roommate started mining Bitcoin, I'm pretty sure he was getting like, you know, a full Bitcoin like every two or three days or something like that. I try not to think about it. Hang on. Hold, hold, hold. Good for him, no? Good for him. He made a bet and the bet turned out. He's a billionaire. No, I've told this before. It's like one of the, obviously there's lots of stories of like people investing $500 in Bitcoin in like 2011 and now they're worth like $3 billion. But a lot of situations in like early cryptocurrency are kind of tragic looking back. Like it's not all good. Like my friend had a great story about Bitcoin. He was an early believer, 2009, 2010. 2010 sounds right. 2009 sounds a little early. He, uh, he got into the, the mining himself. He got into the culture, for better and for worse. And he made a lot of money on it with a very small initial investment. He had so many Bitcoin that in 2012, he sold it all to pay for his master's education. Which is a good investment in yourself, but at the same time, if you're looking back, what he sold in 2012 which was probably like it had gone like 50x since when he got in, is probably worth like hundreds of millions of dollars today. Yeah, go ahead, put Apollo's plush URL in here. Are you, well, you might not be able to, because links aren't allowed. You'll, but you'll only get, I think you'll get like a 10 second timeout if it doesn't work. Oh, VIPs can link, let's go. Hundreds of millions of dollars you can't make liquid. Listen, we, we dunk on the crypto from time to time here, but I'm pretty sure he could just like launch a big sell order on any exchange and be like pretty much good to go. But, you know, at least he got an education out of it. I, we, we talked about it like during the, the bull run in like 2019, maybe 2020. I was like, does anyone here have any tragic stories about Bitcoin? And there's people that are like, I traded like, for Bitcoin in 2011 to get like a, a hat in Team Fortress 2 and you're like, man, I hear you. But it's like everybody thinks like it's a tragic story and it is, but like there's no way you could have known, right? It's just, it's, it's part of the endless comedy of life. Not to mention the amount of people that lost like generational wealth just from like not writing down their seed phrase or something like that. But yeah, you can't know the future exactly. It'd be hard to like get over that. I'm, I'm sure I would have some nights where I'd be like, man, if I just like wrote that shit down, I'd be worth like a billion dollars right now. Hold, hold. But then like I'd like to think that at least most of the time you just got to laugh. Wee. Oh, good job. Yeah, smart play. Oh, here we go. Here you go. All the way down, huh? Thirty meters per second shouldn't be a big deal. Hmm. 
Friction? E no! That was the checkpoint, bro! Can't you run? This is this is my running speed, man. Hey NL, I'm 15 and I'm vaping. Okay. Who do you think I am? Like your homeroom teacher? Why would I care? I think it's a bad idea, but I think you know it's a bad idea, and that's why you're like weirdly bragging about it. I'm like literally almost three times your age. I could literally just go to the store and like buy it. There's no one, no one would stop me. We're not the same. I'm 21 and I'm drinking jasmine tea. Okay, that's over the line. I'm loving this. I'm like, hold it, hold it right there, brother. I'm 30 and Uber eatsing my groceries. That can't be cost effective. I've, I, this probably is a little rare these days. I've still never done a grocery delivery in my whole life. And it's, it, unlike DoorDash, Uber Eats, etc., etc., I don't have like a spiritual uh, dilemma with it. Like, I don't think it's, it's a vacancy of the soul that leads to it. What happened is that like when all the grocery starts like launched it, uh, grocery stores, I should say, launched it during COVID, like I would be like, I need groceries right now. And then I would look for a delivery date and the closest delivery date would be like four days away. And I was like, well, I need food now. So I got to go to the grocery store. And then I just sort of like, I don't know, I kind of just been using that workflow the whole time. So you're a bad planner? No, not really. Like when I need food, I just, I just go to the grocery store. Okay, we're, I mean, we're going all the way down. I can live with that. Wee! I mean, I'm a little bit different than the average person. I like leaving the house. I actually, I mean, I, I went to the grocery store yesterday and I went to the grocery store the day before too. I think it's fun to be there. You look at all the foods. Think about what you're going to eat that night. Maybe get a little bit of uh, some snack reconnaissance as well. That's insane. I go like once a month. You go to the grocery store once a month? I mean, that's crazy, but at the same time, like, Apollo told me he hasn't been inside of a grocery store for, like, five years or something like that. And obviously, he's still alive, but I do think that, like, the only thing he gets in his Instacart orders is, like, ice cream and eggs. He's, he's alive. He's still living. Having it delivered is actually cheaper sometimes, which is perplexing. Yeah, here, I mean, I don't have any problem. Here, here's my trade-off, I guess. If I could get the groceries, like, if, I, if it's 3 p.m. and I could have the groceries delivered by 7, I might consider it from time to time. But if I have to, like, wait till the next day, then I'd rather just go to the store because, like, I have time now. And I don't want, you know, the, the Save on Foods... Mafia knocking on my door when I'm in the middle of a good bit. Hey, can you sign here? Hey, we didn't have tomatoes, so we got you tomatillos. Is that okay? And I, eh. Also, this might not only be like a... Uh, oh, thank you, Corey. Thank you. This might not only be like a guy with a kid type bit, but parents of young kids will tell you like... Sometimes you just need to get out of the house. Sometimes you're like, I need to go to the grocery store today. So like, cause I, ca I can't like pretend to have my nails done for a 130th time. 129 is my limit. We got to go to the grocery store now. Push it, push it. Ah. <sighs> 
<sighs> Feels nice to be around people for a bit. <laughs> I mean, it's... Uh, you know what? You're right. You're right. I'm not going to say anything else about it. You're right. All I'm going to say is society is lost, that this has become... That's become the aberrant position. But I understand the conditions that lead to that. Isolating hobbies, working remote from home. I totally understand. I get it. It makes sure you're, you didn't fall out of a coconut tree exactly. Here we go again with the coconut trees. People have been saying that for decades, though. No disrespect, 22-year-old. How would you know? I'm just being an asshole. I don't know. You might be 50. Oh, now I'm an asshole for, for going too far in the other direction? Okay, then what's the, what's the perfect age? Oh, whatever age you are. Oh, figures. Okay. Hold, hold. That was multiple not real guys in one go. If you want to see someone argue with real guys, Hassan's stream is that way. Actually, I'm, I'm mirrored. It's that way, okay? We argue with people we make up here. It's a different sort of vibe. One's not better, one's not worse. I will say that one of the TikToks posted yesterday, someone said, this guy's my goat of making up someone to argue with, and my ass almost lit him up. But I thought it was a bad look. I thought it might be perceived as punching down. I was going to say, you're my goat of having a seven-hour-old comment with zero likes. Then I said, you know what? He's probably a fan. Let's not alienate him. He's just making a joke. But I did. I took it personally. I took it a little personally. That man is in here right now. And he's probably laughing about it, man. He's probably laughing about it. They're laughing. We like to have fun here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a grocery delivery guy. I don't think there's... Again, I'm, I'm full 90s maxing, spiritually speaking. I no longer feel the need to argue that something I don't like is worse than something I do. Instead, I'm just like, I like, I like the way I've been doing it forever. They released a new thing. You can get groceries delivered now. It would be irresponsible not to try it and then do a fucking SWOT analysis to see whether or not it's better than just driving to the store and getting your food right away. Eh, well, then I guess I'm being a little irresponsible. This 97-year-old uh, man still buys groceries the old-fashioned way. I like to peruse. You do strike me as a peruser, Corey. You strike me as a peruser. Nothing negative about it. There, if there's one advantage to being in the store, it is picking out your own produce. Especially, I've been eating a lot of oranges lately. Quite frankly, I, I don't trust the produce picker to go through the same rigorous selection process for each navel orange that I do. But I, I think it kind of comes out in the wash in the end. It's not a big deal. Don't tell Dan you're out here eating oranges. You know, Dan texted me this morning at 7.02 a.m., which apparently is becoming a habit of his. The text, and you got to acknowledge first, from my perspective, 98% of my communication with Dan happens in Discord DMs. So if he texts me, that means he's live, which means I'm being farmed for content. So he texted me and said, hey, don't want to stoke any negative feelings but what are your feelings on subathons? I feel like you would have some really uh, strong opinions one way or the other on subathons. I sniffed out getting farmed for content within one millisecond of opening the text. 
And I, I replied, please direct all business inquiries to my publicist, David Martinez. I'm not answering that question when you're live on stream. Are you crazy? Bait used to be believable. Seven o two, your time or his time? Why would I refer to it in his time? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I'm alive in my time. Push it. You're alive in his time too. Not yet. I gotta wait three hours. No! No, we're okay. I thought Dan CST. I don't know. Isn't isn't Michigan weird? I honestly don't know what part of Michigan Dan lives in. If he lives in the CST or the EST. You motherfucker. You fucking wind. Hold, hold, hold it. Hold, hold it. Oh, yes. Okay. We got we to gotta push against the wind. In a regular job, NL, would you go 9-5 or 8-4? Great question. Hang on a second here. Um, I don't know. I personally, I think I would rather do 8-4 because I'm already kind of like an early bird. I guess you also get the benefit of like your commute's probably a little faster because there's a little bit less traffic, which is nice. And I, I mean, I'm a big believer as I get older for my lifestyle the earlier you can be free, the better it is for your quality of life. I know we talked about, like, there, there's a, an aspect of this that, I mean, there's a lot of debate to be had. I take the position that I'm actually a morning person who for 15 years, from high school through till, I don't know, maybe like 2016, 2017, I thought I was a night owl. I tricked myself into thinking that I was a night owl. But really what happened, I think, is that what, you know, in high school, I had to be up at like 6.45 for school. And then in university, you, know, you start going to Thirsty Thursday and then waking up at 10 or 11 a.m. because of the fact that you went to bed at like 3 or 4. And then I was just like, well, I guess I must be a night owl. No, brother, you were just, you know, you were just getting your drink on. I do think there are some night owls, but like once I started waking up early in the morning, I was like, this is like way better. You know what it's like to be like effectively done work at like 3.30 p.m.? There's a whole world out there that you don't even know is, is there. Like I know Corey was of the position that it's the same amount of hours, and it's literally true, but like... If you're being realistic, if you finish work at like 10 p.m., what are you doing? Like, you, there's not, nothing's open. You're going home, you're, you know, cooking dinner, which is fine. You're watching Netflix, which is fine. But like, I, we're not living the same lifestyle. I'm taking my kid out for a tricycle ride because the sun's still up. I'm going to the playgrounds. Coaching social interactions with my three and a half year old, like a weirdo. You should say your name and then ask what her name is. Going to the grocery store, exactly. You can, you can even, I know Apollo was saying it yesterday, you can even run to the, to the bank real quick. Would you do the graveyard shift then so you're out of work by 8 a.m.? No, because you got to sleep at some point. Like, as you, that, that's the worst, because you're not sleeping at night when it, at least 85% of the population is asleep. Sleep during your shift? That's how fucking, like, Norman Osborn breaks into his old office and ends up, like, immolating the board of directors, man. I don't want that shit hanging on my head. Okay. 
Okay. We're so back. Like, I don't say it to be, to be rude. But like, when I was staying up late, and I thought I was a night owl, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a different lifestyle. What was I doing at 10 p.m.? I don't know, playing like the culling or something like that for two hours. I'd rather just have the sleep, honestly, in hindsight. Or like, you know, exercise. That's, I, I don't know if other parents feel the same way. You know, we're three and a half years into our parenting journey. Whenever I look back at like my life pre-September 2020, I'm like, why wasn't I fucking jacked, bro? Why wasn't I jacked all the time? All that there's, I mean, I want to say there's no excuse. The excuse is that I didn't really want to do it. But like, there were, there were very few, you know, contextual factors blocking it. I should have been fucking ripped, dude. I'm just going to push it up the side. Uh, it's so risky, though, to push it up the side. Hold, 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 hold. I'm too mentally ill to be jacked. Have you ever talked to somebody that's in great shape? They're the craziest motherfuckers on the planet. Every single one of them has like some trauma from middle school that motivated them to get to this point. Half of them are like 5'4". I'm not insulting them. I'm just saying I can see where the motivation comes from. They're literally in the gym like I have to add like 15 more pounds of clean mass this year. Otherwise, no one's ever going to love me. Hold, hold. Which is true, by the way. Oh, man. We wait. Any good recommendations for Hungarian literature? Oh, have you ever heard of the, uh, the Hungarian author uh, Yanni Gogolak? He's written some pretty prescient stuff. Hey, Valentine, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. What is this joke? You guys never see the whole nine yards? Yanni Gogolak is the, is the villain in the whole nine yards. Never seen it? 55 on Rotten Tomatoes. I honestly think that's about right. Whole 10 yards is ass. I, making a comedy sequel, FUBAR accepted, is a, is a fool's gamble. It's a 64 on Rotten Tomatoes. My mistake. You know, today while I was uh, on the toilet, I got clickbaited by Metacritic. It said, we did a rundown of all of Guy Ritchie's movies ranked worst to best. Did you know that motherfucker has two movies over 60 in his entire filmography? One of them is Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. And then the other one is Guy Ritchie's The Covenant, which I had not heard of, but... Snatch was at a 55, which was crazy to me. I feel like the critics maybe put out a hit on Snatch. Snatch, Snatch was a little low, in my opinion. Man from Uncle was in the 50s. He's got a lot of movies in the 50s. Snatch, Aladdin, Rock and Rolla, I think The Gentleman. Swept Away was, was pretty far down there. Yeah, Swept Away was pretty low. Snatch, 93 on Rotten Tomatoes, 55 on Metacritic. It is crazy. Like, when I read the Metacritic list, I was like, I thought Snatch was fucking good. I've seen it, like, three times. But it's kind of hard to separate, like, the fact that I was, like, probably 15 
when I saw it and Guy Ritchie was like an exciting young director instead of, I don't want to say he's a caricature of himself, but like, you know, when it's like, I imagine it's the same way you'd feel about like, you know, Reservoir, Reservoir Dogs if you were like 25 when you saw it and it just came out. You'd be like, oh, the exciting young director, Quentin Tarantino, like it's, you know, you're, you're part of the zeitgeist. Hold, hold. Ah. Isn't there a new one out today? That's probably why they did the list, I guess. Who's the hot director now? Ah, that's, a, that's a tough question. I don't think I know enough about film to answer it. Because the first thing I was thinking... Well, because no, Denis Villeneuve doesn't compare. Because he's already got like seven films under his belt. Same thing, Robert Eggers. Same thing, Yorgos Lanthimos. Who came out with, with one slapper that has, has taken over the film industry already? Dev Patel. Are people that excited about Monkey Man? I could maybe see the Safty brothers because they only have the, the two pictures. But Greta? Bro, put some respect on uh, Little Women and Francis Ha. I mean, we, Quentin Tarantino came out of the fucking woodwork. He's like, boom, guess what? Here's Reservoir Dogs. Guy Ritchie said, you, you never even heard of this guy. And then all of a sudden, everybody's talking about lock, stock, two smoking barrels. Hold, hold. Okay, I have to, I have to pay attention. I, oh, that's fine. Edgar Wright. Brother, has like a 27-year-long career, man. What are you talking about Edgar Wright? Also, no disrespect to Edgar Wright. Everybody thinks he's washed now. <laughs> no! No! It's not going to hold. Here we go. All the way back. George Lucas. Damn true. You know what I was thinking the other day? I, I was thinking two things about George Lucas. The first thing is, I wonder how George Lucas feels about being the uh, poster child on... If, if you do a Google search for, like, how to trim your beard, every article has a picture of George Lucas as what not to do. Now, I imagine that he doesn't know that, and if he does, he probably doesn't care too much, but... Sure, me personally, like that's got to sting a little bit that he's the poster child for like taking your neckline too high. But then I was also thinking about like what a what a scam it was that when I was growing up, the rep that George Lucas had was like for being um, reclusive and like he doesn't want to do media appearances and he doesn't want to go to conventions and talk to fans and stuff like that. And then, like, now in 2024, I'm like, that dude was right. If you ever, like, talk to Star Wars fans online for, like, more than 10 seconds, like, I wouldn't want to talk to them either. No disrespect. Plus, I'm sure, like, you know, his whole professional life, basically, is Star Wars. I'm sure the last thing he wants to do is be like, so what was the methodology behind giving Kit Fisto a green kyber crystal? And just, was it just to match his, the color of the tentacles on his... Like, he's probably like, I want to talk about something else, man. Hold, 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 hold. Okay, we're holding. <clears throat> Thank God a streamer who's not playing Balatro. I'm so bored of it. Dude, it's crazy. Like, this is how I know this shit is Game of the Millennium. It lives rent-free in Balatro haters' heads. I'm not playing it right now, and you're still talking about it. And you think the game's the problem. Human mind is a fascinating thing. Yours, at least. Okay, hold, hold. Hold. No, this is 60 seconds, no glances. You gotta, you gotta neutralize the Coriolis effect. There you go. Oh, that's not neutralized, brother! 
Okay, it, it's, it's spinning too much. It's all right, just keep it pressed. Beautiful, beautiful, okay. Get it, get it to no lateral movement. Slow, 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 slow. He's glancing. The, the glance protocol stopped when the ball lost possession, okay? Now we're non-glancing again, non-glancing. That was just poor play. Can't say anything about that. Okay, right here. Lock in. Thank you for typing that. This is a great time to not be glancing. Just got to apply some force. That's it. That's it. And it, it even had the back spin. Hold, hold. That is puck positioning right now. That is Linus Ulmark. You don't go where the puck is. You go where it's going to be. Unless you're James Reamer. Okay, break, 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 break. It's all right. It's got some lateralis. Quinn Hughes winning the Norris this year. Yep. Guy who only watches Canucks games. Yep, no question. Don't glance. Nah, I'm glancing. I'm glancing. Demko for Vesna? Nope. He had a great season. Might might be a finalist. But it's uh, I think it's Hella Bucks year. Hold, 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 hold. Oh, what the fuck did do that? Where did I get that impulse from? She got spat like a fucking pinball machine or something like that. I enjoy your banter. You banter less in Balatro. That's the only reason. Say this with um, respect. You've got too many granular opinions about Twitch streams. God did not put you on this planet to, to express that opinion about Twitch streams. You need to become a botanist or a chemist or a, a woodworker or a machinist or a metal fabricator or something. We weren't meant to have this much specific knowledge about essentially just casually shout out media like this. This is just a dude talking really for the most part. We weren't meant to know this. We were, meant to, we were meant to know, you know, that you plant the squash on the bottom and then the, the corn on top of that. And then you, you plant the beans after that so that the beans can climb the stalks of the corn and it kind of serves as like an organic trellis. Okay, that's what we were meant for. What if you just did this? Ready? Is that a thing? It was before we just started planting like exclusively corn. Wow. Got a long way to go. It's going to hold. What's your favorite crop rotation? I got to give it to the one that I just did. Because it's the only one I know. <laughs> oh, 
Hold. Oh! Touche, I am a woodworker. You just shattered like a reality for me. Not the white collar office working class glamorizing the can do spirit of blue collar workers and then going to work at the blue collar work factory and people are like, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go do drugs in the bathroom real quick. What? I thought this was, I thought we were on some Woody Guthrie shit, bro. I thought we were building the backbone of the nation and the only thing we needed to be spiritually fulfilled was a hard day's work. Nah, bro, we're doing meth in the bathroom. You coming? No. No. Best bit of the week. I told this story many times before, but I was having a hard time finding a job the summer after my first year of university. So I went to a temp agency and did a series of aptitude tests. And they were like, what do you, um, what, what are you good at? And I was like, I'm good at using computers. Which is true in 2007. I was, I was more tech savvy than the average individual. They had me do a typing test, which seems very antiquated. They had me, you know, demonstrate some aptitude in, in the Microsoft Office suite of products. And then uh, they said, okay, we'll call you when we've got something relevant. They called me that night and said, hey, Nuts on the table, 5.45 a.m. Uh, movers need some extra muscle for this moving job that they got. Are you in or are you out? And I was like, hang on, I got to talk to my parents. And I was like, I'm out, right? And then my dad was like, you haven't done anything all summer? You're in. And I was like, oh, man. So I worked as a mover for literally one day. Hey, hey. And... Uh, I just, I mean, there's a lot of facets to this one day story, but I just remember being in like the back of the, the cab of essentially like an 18 wheeler that was moving all this shit. And then the driver was like a 35 year old guy, you know, my age now. And as soon as we got on the highway, he lit up a joint and just smoked the whole fucking thing. Well, I, you know, I'm literally 18 years old in the back. Like, I'm going to die. We're driving like a 20,000 pounds vehicle at 120 kilometers an hour. I, I'm in this like fucking half-assed half seat in the back. The dudes in the front don't even have their seatbelt on and the driver's on drugs. I'm like, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to die. I did not die. And uh, I'm not defending him, but I do understand that, like, you know, after 15 years of being a mover, like, you need something to get through the day. Not to mention, like, I'm sure it helps with some pain relief. That being said, I was scared. He didn't share. I think he, he offered and I just, I declined. I mean, there's a lot of reasons. First day on the job, first day in the industry, um, 18 years old. It's like 7, 15 a.m. on like a Wednesday or something like that. Also, I think I had like two hours of sleep because my sleep schedule was totally fucked from being unemployed for like a month. But I will say the resolution of that story is literally... It was a rude awakening too. You realize, like, I'm, this is a, an oversimplification. But when I worked in an office, it was like, well, I got some shit to do, but it's 5 p.m. See you tomorrow. If you're a mover and, you know, you're like, oh, well, my shift's eight hours and I already worked eight hours, but you still got shit in the truck. Too bad, bitch. Like, you're <laughs> you gotta, you gotta unload that shit and put it where it's supposed to be. And then you got to drive the truck back and then unload it and fill out like a bunch of paper. So we started the day at like 545, finished it at like 7 p.m. So it was like a 13 hour workday. 
And I looked at my pay stub and it was like $90 or something. And I was like, what the fuck are we doing here, man? This is crazy. And then they were like, hey, same time tomorrow. And I was like, sure. But literally like that night, or maybe it was over the weekend because I, uh, I think I had a couple days in between. But uh, I got an email back from an office job I applied to that was like, hey, we'd love you to come. Can you start on Monday? And I was like, I can start on fucking Saturday, bro. Get me out of this. And that job was, I mean, pretty cushy. <laughs> Mostly just sat in a chair doing clerical work with my headphones on all day. That's me right now. I listen to so many pirated audiobooks. Neon Bible just came out. I was definitely rocking Neon Bible and Boxer by the National a lot. Hang on. Did you get offered free weed at that job too? No, that's one of the downsides. It's a shame that I don't work there anymore though because I feel like there's actually like a $2.5 million settlement in a lawsuit that I could have gotten if I was disingenuous and kind of an asshole. Because it was like maybe 15 people worked in the office and uh, I was the only guy, but they were legally required to have like a, a men's room and a women's room for the bathroom. But then like the women just use the men's room all the time because I mean, there's 14 times more of them. And I'm like, man. I, I could have been set for life, bro. <laughs> it was like a government-affiliated organization, too. I would have been like, this is a violation of my charter rights. I know, it's maybe it is, but like, who, I'm not going to be a fucking square about it, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks, bro. We're pushing, we're pushing. The male power fantasy. <laughs> I don't care if three of them are pregnant, okay? It's called the men's room. You know what is crazy? I mean, this is a, a naive way of looking at things, but na since I'm reminiscing... It's hilarious to be like one of the only summer students at an office where people are working, like literally doing their career for their whole life. I don't know if it was just me, but there would be like multiple times per day where we'd have like a meeting and they'd be talking about like being stressed out about something. And I'd be like, this shit doesn't matter at all. <laughs> you're like, I'm literally here for four months. And you're like, we really need to align our business practices with our mission statement. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I do not, no disrespect, I do not care. I'm going to, you're going to put forms on my desk every day. I'm going to fill them out. I'm going to come to your office at 11 a.m. and be like, hey, I'm done with those forms. Any more work for me? And then my boss is going to say, uh, I don't know, just like keep yourself busy doing something productive. I'm going to do nothing until 4.30. And then I'm going to leave and I'm going to come back tomorrow. There's going to be a new stack of forms on my desk. Haha, <laughs> the ball is rolling. Hey, D.L. Guiga. Isn't your favorite game uh, Astria Six-Sided Oracles, a game about rolling objects? Or is it only uh, icosahedrons that are fun when they roll? Spheres are so passe. Bro, what the fuck? Favorite game of last year. Favorite game of this year, Balatro, obviously.
Balotro is literally the only game I played this year. Yo! Me and Dio Guiga. The, the meme with the two arms clasping hands. Playing Balotro. Worst meme of all time. You have been permanently banned from r slash Balotro. I did play climbing game. I like climbing game, man. Wow, 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 wow. Your daughter liked it too? She actually talks to me like when I picked her up from daycare maybe last week. I was like, or she's always like, what do you do all day? And I was like, daddy's at work. Work, 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 work. And then um, she's like, did you play climbing game? And I'm like, no, daddy, daddy beat climbing game. And she's like, you should play it again. And I'm like, honestly, I think she's kind of on to something. That was a good time. Cool. <laughs> How did I do this first try last time, man? That's crazy. Maybe because I wasn't glancing. I was locked the frick in, Samurai. Okay, hold. Bro, fuck ice. Put, put that next to the, I don't have a problem with the police when I was talking about the band clip out of context. <laughs> Hold! Did you see that? Wee! Wee! Look at that! That's how locked in I was yesterday when that 70 year old was going watt for watt with me. Rip Mark Watney, you would have loved the Peloton. Stable, stability, 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 reliability, consistency, stability. A can-do attitude. Oh my God, what the hell happened there, man? No! It did a, like a Tony Hawk 50-50 grind on the... On the rail? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, give it, a, give it a little impulse. <sighs> take take a break for a second. Give yourself some glycogen refreshment. Cough out the lung butter. New streamer bit. Streamer who pretends to be uh, an athlete. So it takes a hit of the water bottle and then spits it out on the floor. and hits his computer. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's a pretty good bit. A little cerebral for the average audience, but... Where's the Coke Zero? I was at the grocery store yesterday. I decided I didn't want to pay save-on prices for Coke Zero. I'll, I'll wait till Costco. I mean, it's, it's genuinely, okay. <clears throat> it's genuinely at the point where 32 Coke Zeros from Costco costs the same as 12 Coke Zeros from other grocery stores. Like, it's crazy. Hold, hold, 
Okay, hold, hold, hold. That doesn't make sense. I know. I know. DL Guiga, you got to look into this. Can you look at their, uh, their TTM for the last quarter? Well, TTM is trailing 12 months and a quarter is... Yeah, I know. I was, I, was, I was setting you up, okay? I was setting you up. Okay, get it, get it going. Oh no, give it a nice little push. Careful what you wish for. Okay, we got to get it straight. Oh my god, it is way too much momentum, bro. Oh! <laughs> Slow. No, 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 no. You can buy 24 cans at Target for 110% of the cost of the 32 at Costco here. Well, deal, we got our stores have cashiers, okay? And also, like at our grocery stores, you don't have to press a button to summon a staff member to get a container of Tropicana orange juice unlocked. That's it's going all the way, man. It is going all the way down. It is bouncing and moaning on it. It is doing Rodney Mullen tricks. Canadians ruin Target. I honestly don't know why Target didn't succeed in Canada. I'd have to watch a 10 part Netflix documentary in order to figure it out. Because like in the US, I mean, if you're a Canadian and you're going to the US, if you're gonna be there for like a week, stopping at Target day one or two is a must. You can stock up on like everything you need for your residence in and suites mini fridge for like, so I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. They inherited Zeller's supply chain issues. I mean, that makes sense. Zeller's was pretty ass. I know we have nostalgia for it as Canadians, but like, how often were you going to Zeller's before, like, it went out of business? I feel like if you went there a lot, it probably wouldn't have gone out of business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, they strapped me into the weird little Ferris wheel with the teddy bear on it, too. I'm just saying. The thing that, like, maybe one or two years before Zellers went out of business, I remember they introduced self-checkout. So they ripped out, like, three or four lanes of regular checkout and replaced it with four lanes of self-checkout that all had cashiers at them showing you how to use the self-checkout. And I was like, this company is not going to make it. Like, you, I don't even know what amount of money you had to spend to like get this shit oh my god look at that the picture in picture i don't know how much money you had to spend to like retrofit every store for that but like now you got the same labor costs man now i'm just scanning my own shit well like a 17 year old in a red shirt stands behind me and goes like and now put it on the scale Wee. 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 Yahoo! Here we go. Do you steal stuff at the self checkout? No, but like, I get it. I don't, not on purpose anyway. He doesn't get it? I'm pretty sure I get it. I'm pretty sure it boils down to uh, when you steal things, they cost less than when you pay money for them. Okay, he gets it. 
I knew it. Uh, my wife accidentally didn't scan her iced coffee and they gave her a two-year ban from the store. Honestly, that just seems like bad business. Every time your wife walks into the store, she's probably, you know, making the grocery store like 35 bucks in pure profit. They just literally cost themselves, what, like two grand just to prove a point? My mom will drive back to the store the store if she forgot to scan one item. I think um that's too far. Even if the store I, I've had this happen before where like I go through the self checkout and like I put my shopping cart on like the conveyor belt that goes down to the parking garage and it locks the shopping cart wheels. Halfway through that ramp, I'm like, oh, I didn't scan the hard taco shells. I'm not going back up. Like I'm going to get back in line again for the same cashier and then I'm going to like give them the hard taco shells and be like, yeah, sorry, I forgot to scan these. And then like the 19 year old cashier is going to be like, okay, that's $4.19, and I'm going to be on card, please, and then i got to wait 10 seconds for the machine to go, and then I go, oh, I think I did something wrong, but, like, she actually didn't hit the button to actually start it, and she goes, oh, she hits the button, and it pops up instantly, and she goes, oh, yeah, our machines are a little weird sometimes, and then, like, I get out my phone wallet, and it asks for my fingerprint biometric, and I put my thumb right over the sensor, and it says, like, no match, and then it's like, okay, I do it again, and it's like no match. And I do it again, and it's like no match because my hands are like a little bit cold, so it's distorted my fingerprint. And then it's like, you've used your biometrics five times. Please enter your 24-character long alphanumeric passphrase. And I'm like, oh, shit, man. All that just to cost myself money? I don't think so. Just go to my customer service next time and ask them to charge you for the taco shells. I'm just going to say... Because it benefits me, I'm going to say that it comes out in the wash. I'm sure that there's been times that at the grocery store they've double scanned something. And I just haven't noticed because I'm not, you know, standing blocking the exit and looking over my receipt like line by line. Now, who comes out ahead eventually? Probably me, because I'm not double scanning my shit at the self-checkout. So I'd assume that the cashier has roughly an equal rate of double scanning and non-scanning. That might, that might be a, a false assumption, but that's the assumption I'm going to make right now. It's called breakage. Your accidental theft is priced in. Well, that's the other thing, right? <laughs> that shit's priced in, bro. I've worked self-checkout. Your assumption is wrong. What do you mean you worked self-checkout? I worked the self-checkout, motherfucker. You almost got me to, to hate on someone that's on my side. Because you know what I was about to say? I was about to say, you get paid to stand at that fucking desk, and as soon as the red light goes off, and the siren goes off that says, please wait for assistance, you gotta wait 45 seconds before you actually have to be at the kiosk, even though obviously it's the one with the bright red flashing light that's going, wee -oo, wee -oo. and then it takes a second, I don't even know, it takes two and a half minutes for you to look up and go, oh, what seems to be the problem? And then you're like, I, I scanned this wrong. And then they're like, oh, okay, well, this is a big security issue. By the way, our store's password for this shit is 1234 in case you want to do it yourself next time. Or four zeros in a row. True, true. Okay, we're so back. Ah. I 
I also want to say, what the fuck is Home Depot doing with a self-checkout, man? Every time I use... And, and, like, they don't even have the regular lanes anymore. I'm not built for this, bro. I, I can't fucking self-scan an 18-foot-long extendable ladder and, like, some 2 by 4s How am I supposed to do that, dude? That's, I, that's what you're there for. I need help. Checking out a 2x4 is tarot liquid bait ant traps. How'd you get it on the card? Well, it's like when you go to sell checkout at Ikea, right? Like, loading the card is way easier than unloading the card. It's like that Carl Sagan bit. You know, if you want to make an apple pie from scratch, first you have to create the universe. Step one of uh, unloading your Ikea cart, at least at the Richmond Ikea, is um, going to the hospital after you get hit by 11 cars in 10 seconds. Okay, we push. We push. They got me feeling like Meet Joe Black. All I wanted was a Billy bookcase. Related, Home Depot is a snack paradise. They have good root beer there. You are drinking antifreeze, my friend. No! You are going to die. Is it okay if I take online Spanish class in the morning on the weekend? Info? I mean, it's okay, but I would love some more info as well. When you say the weekend, do you mean Saturday and Sunday? Or do you mean one day on Saturday or Sunday? Just Saturday? Saturday mornings? Hours? Info? Hours? Two hours. Okay, I mean, what time does it start? OMG. I'm not trying to, like, you know... To unveil in the morning, because here, here's what I'm just giving you a little parenting advice, okay? Saturdays we got a couple of classes, okay? One of them starts at roughly 11 a.m. and one of them starts at 1:30. So what I'm thinking, if if the class is very frictionless, if the class that you're in overlaps with either of those classes. I got no problem taking my daughter to both classes and having some quality time. Where it becomes a bit of an issue is if the whole morning I'm on the dad duty and then it's the whole afternoon full of activities as well. 10 to 12? 10 to, that seems beautiful. Muy bello. That might be Italian. That might not be anything. How the heck will it be a whole morning if it's only two hours long? Well, you got to... It depends on when you wake up, honestly. I'm not trying to be a bad guy. I'm just asking relevant questions. Molto bene. There we go. Itadakimasu. Dom Toretto, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, if you wake up at 10, then a two-hour class is the whole morning. If you wake up at 5.45, a two-hour class doesn't even get you to, like, the, the normal wake-up. But, it's, yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. Absolutely. In fact, that's good, good um, relationship capital for me. Because now I've got the space to do two-hour croquet lessons on a night of my choosing. Push, push. Hey, NL, pro pegging or anti pegging? Um, I'm not involved in the community, but I'm I'm pro pegging. Why would I be anti pegging? Some other dudes getting fucked up the butt. Why do I care? Doesn't bother me. It's quite quite frankly none of my business. Even if they make it my business, I don't really care. Ah, no! Mm. 
we were waiting for your approval. All right, well, go for it, brother. Extremely based. How is it based, though? It's just, it's not my... <laughs> it's none of my business, man. Because the bar is low? Is it? I don't know. I feel like if you... Maybe I just am blessed to know some relatively normal individuals. I guess you also never know until you ask. Sometimes I feel like, like the vast majority of people out there are like very normal. If you ask them how they feel about pegging, they would be like, why would I care? It's not my butthole. But like online, I guess there's a lot of influencers who are like, if you ever watch Star Wars, you're gay. <laughs> You will never be a billionaire if you've ever subscribed to Netflix or like insane stuff like that. So I don't know. That's why. Yeah, but that's only like, that's like a thousand dudes. There's a lot of dudes who are bad in like other ways too that you never hear about, I'm sure. But like, I think it's, I'm, I'm occupying the baseline. I'm not, I'm not occupying the baseline. Also, I think I have support for the pegging community because as a streamer, I mean, I can only speak from my experience, right? As a streamer, whenever there's like a hot lady on screen, nobody in chat's like, oh, I'd really love her to put on a fucking rubber penis and fuck my butt. Like they, they're keeping that shit to themselves. Whereas like all the other horny sub communities are putting it on full display, man. Oh, I'd love to, I'd crawl through a mile of broken glass to sniff her toilet seat. Like, you're this fucking disgusting, bro. So I, I feel like the pegging community is a dignified community, man. They're keeping the, the business shit in the bedroom in the boardroom and the and the pegging stuff in the bedroom. He's allergic to taking L's. I mean, just in this week, I was proven correct about Bluey Discourse. People are now talking about um, the McDouble being the perfect food nutritionally and financially. Just you wait until Scientific American releases an article that's like Americans wash their hands 25% more than they should. Wait, if that happens, I will, I'm going to, I'm going to start my own cult because I'm going to start believing in the hype. I'm, I'm, it, they, these things come in threes, man, and we're already on two this week alone. You were proven right on none of those things. I mean, you can, the, the Bluey stuff speaks for itself. You can look at the McDouble tweet. It's cheap. The macros are good. Tastes delicious. Get off Twitter? No, this person agreed with me. Send it, send it, get to safety. Hug the wall. How do I get my wife to stop making me wash my hands so much? You should probably just wash them, but if you're not willing to do that, like, then you gotta, the conspiracy runs deep, okay? So when you're by yourself, you don't have to wash them, that you can get away with that. But the problem is, like, eventually she's gonna get wise, because she's gonna be like, hey, I put this bottle of hand soap in your bathroom, like, two years ago and it's still 90% full. What's up with that? So what you got to do is like every time you go to the bathroom, you got to remember to use two pumps of hand soap and just put them like right into the sink. And then you got to run the water for like 30 seconds 
so that it seems like you're washing your hands. And at that point, you realize you should probably just be washing them. But there's one thing that people forget. You do get to miss out on the rigorous task of having to dry them. Your hands come out fully dry. But your wife's going to be like, why are your hands so dry if you just washed your hands? That's why every time you go to the bathroom, you're going to piss your pants just a little bit. So that when she says, why are your hands so dry? You'll be like, oh, I dried them on my pants. And then she'll look at your pants and see the wetness and be like, oh, okay. Crazy tech. <laughs> what if she smells your hands? Well, then you're in a lot of trouble. It's over then. Then you just lie. <laughs> then you just say, oh, I didn't wash them that. I washed them before I took a piss. <laughs> My hands were dirty before I took a piss, so I didn't want to get my dick dirty with my dirty hands. So I washed my hands before I took a piss, and then I didn't wash them after because I didn't want to waste water. We're so back. Hey, Anel, you one of those guys who uh, makes a note of every exit in a building when you walk in? No, but what, until I was like probably 20, I was. I was just a very anxious child. I, some people in chat are going to say, like, what the hell are you talking about? And some people in chat are going to be like, I, I finally feel seen. I was so, so anxiety ridden as a child that I got scared at the movie theater. You know, let's say like age eight. But every time, not because I was going to be scared by the movie, but because I was worried that the screen was going to fall on the audience and flatten us all. Now, I don't believe in human history there's ever been an example of that. But as a little kid, I was like, <laughs> there's probably like a 25% chance the screen falls down and flattens the whole audience. What happened to you as a child? Um, so I think my, my grandma had like crazy anxiety. And then she raised my mom in an anxiety ridden household. My mom tanked like 50% of the damage, but carries the other 50% with her. So she raised me in a, in a little anxiety type environment. And I'm still teasing apart, uh, like how much I've tanked. Because I'm, I, I mean, I'm less anxious at 35 than, I've, than I was at like five, which is crazy to me. But, but I definitely, with my own daughter, there are times where I'm like, you know, you can't walk with a straw in your mouth. Because if you trip, the straw might go straight down your throat and poke a hole in your trachea and you'll die. And then Kate's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, it could happen, okay? It's probably happened like more than zero times in human history. We reasonable fear. So I, I think just that's what it was. But like my grandma, when I would go to, she took me to see the first Pokemon movie in theaters. She took me to see uh, Toy Story 1 and 2 in theaters. Wasn't allowed to eat popcorn. She was like, if you eat popcorn, you will choke and die. I think if you're like two, that's definitely something you should keep like an eye on. But I was like, I don't know, I was like nine. I was like, all kids eat is popcorn, bro. So instead we were eating fucking raisinets. 
fucking glossettes and saltwater taffy and shit. She also would not... Well, she would let me eat bacon, but only bacon that she cooked, and she would cook the fucking... all the water out of it. Like, it, it was... She turned it into... She made it... I don't even know how to describe it. You know, like, when you bite into a piece of bacon and it's like glass, like it shatters? And to this day... I love bacon like that because she fucking fucked with my psyche in my formative years. Now I'm like, I like chewy bacon too. But like, if you were like, what's your favorite type of bacon? I would be like, oh, the one where you take a bite and it uh, like shatters. You know, the one with no texture whatsoever. I'm not saying crispy. I'm saying like fucking I, dude, desiccated. Wow, you're kind of fucked up. Now you understand why I have some resentment towards chat. And this website in general. Because I got like my own neuroses. And I'm the most normal motherfucker out there. On this website at least. Which is crazy to me. I grew up being like the fourth weirdest kid in my class. I was not the weirdest. You know it. <laughs> If you're like you were the weirdest, you might actually be the weirdest. I wasn't the kid who went around to everybody's table and was like, hey, I'm writing like a RPG fanfic about our class. I just wanted to ask like what weapon you would use if you were trapped in a dungeon. Like I wasn't that kid. I wasn't the kid who pretended to be a ninja in the 12th grade for the entire year. I wasn't the kid who uh, lied about beating up like 20 bullies in an alley on the walk home from school. You know, the kid who's like really in the martial arts. Sorry, I'm not trying. Every school I'm assuming had like, th these are archetypes, right? In the same way, like, you know, horse girl is an archetype. Every class has like one kid who... Doesn't look like an athlete at all, but is like, yeah, I'm a black belt in fucking some discipline in martial arts you've never heard of. And I'm sure if you saw like a video of the karate class, it's literally just like punching nothing all day. That was me. Horse girl? What is that? It's a girl that, like, you know, she's, like, really into riding horses. Like, her whole thing is... She's always reading a book with, like, a horse on the cover. She comes to school, like, wearing her, her riding helmet. And we're like, why are you wearing your riding helmet? And she's like, oh, I just came from, like, horse riding. They're always talking about shit like dressage. Like how boys can be in the cars. It's a, it's a phenotype. I'm not suggesting that there's anything, you know, untowards about the horse girl. All I'm going to say, I am going to say one thing. I don't think I've ever seen a horse girl with short hair. And I'm sure that there are some. But there's something about, like, the, the horse girl hobby or identity also has them growing hair that's like, it goes all the way down to their ankles. Something interesting about that. Whoa! I think we might just play some Balatro, man. <laughs> it's been an hour and a half. I've made negative progress. Nah, nah, nah. We can make it. We can make it. Lock in. You're not even trying? I'm trying in a way. I'm trying as much as anybody is trying at work on a Friday. I'm sitting in the chair. I'm doing my time. Wow. Hold, hold. Hold, hold. Tuesday is the most productive work day. Yeah, I would believe that. 
I believe that for sure. Honestly, it makes sense because I, I can follow your logic 100%. Monday, you're getting back up to speed after the weekend. Tuesday, you're at full capacity. It's like you just finished the warm up. Wednesday is like, because it's midpoint of the week, oftentimes your office will schedule like the fun lunchtime during that or something. So you, it takes an extra 15 minutes to prepare for like, you know, fucking hamburger Wednesday or whatever. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Friday is just, it's, it's cooked. And then, so I, I, I personally think it's between, in my limited experience, I think it's between Tuesday and Thursday. And I feel like Tuesday is like October in an academic year. You're like, I'm motivated. I have my five-star binders. I've labeled all the dividers. I'm taking notes in every class. I have gel pens. I'm, I'm using a ruler to underline the title of the lecture. I'm writing the date on every piece of paper. Like, you're still locked in. And then Thursday is like, you know, it's, it's three weeks before the final exam. You're like, I can't change my fate at this point anyway. So I might as well just, it's like inertia, right? I'm using a machete to cut through red tape. So true. I want a car with a cup holder armrest. I want a car that can get me there. I'm changing my name from Kitty to Karen. I'm trading my MG for a white Chrysler LeBaron. I'm, I'm riding and striving and hugging the turns and thinking about someone for whom he still burns. I know what you're saying. I know, I know exactly what you're saying. Is that the same song? It's two different songs that are both on the Peloton playlist. Hold, 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 hold. We're gonna hold, hold. Easy there, big fella. This thing's got a mind of its own, man. Hold. No! It's all right. That's what it's there for. Why is it moving like that? It's the ice, bro. First verse, should it be about the hose or the ice? Well, I mean, I don't think this is the first verse. But it's about the ice, man. It's about the ice. I'm not talking about Val Kilmer. Okay, hold, hold. You did not lock in? I'm locked the fuck in, bro. It's just, it's hard. It's hard to line it up perfectly here. Give it, a, give it a little twist, man. No glancing. We're glance proof. Stability. Stability. Stab you know what? We, we can take some good stuff away from that. We, we got further than we've gotten in a while. Sorry, D.L. Guiga, I didn't get to see your question. What was, what was D.L. Guiga's question? Am I crazy to think that it started with NL? What's your go-to color on roulette? Don't make me laugh. It's not green. I don't, I mean, are you playing bingo bingo? Are you playing bingo bingo right now? He's bingo posting. How do you got time to play bingo bingo? Is your daughter at Lou Malnati's deep dish pizza right now? 
I'm very close to running out of all information I have about Chicago. How do you know Lou Malnati's? There was a period, a, a decadent period of time in the zero interest rate phenomenon when every YouTuber was buying deep dish pizzas frozen and sent across the country from Lou Malnati's. You know about the white city? Are you talking about having like the adequate committee or whatever? Are you talking about like the invention of cream of wheat, brother? Are you talking about the invention of the Ferris wheel? Are you talking about da -da 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 -da, call United Nations, da -da, Colombia? Da -da. I know what you're talking about. Who are you talking to? I'm I'm talking I'm I'm talking to I'm talking to the person who asked. No. Oh. Who asked? I don't know their name. I just know they asked the question I wanted to respond to. Can you lock in? The proliferation of the phrase lock in has actually done unthinkable damage to the Gen Z psyche. There are some things that like locking in doesn't guarantee victory on. Like you can't just lock in and be like, I'm going to win the lottery today, okay? You can't just like lock, lock in is something you use to paper over the, the harsh reality that sometimes your best effort for at least a little while is going to result in failure. Hold. Like, this ain't like finishing a, a worksheet in middle school, right? This is actually difficult. You know, they designed those worksheets to be done by sixth graders. Okay, hang on. They're easy. This is tough. Okay, next time. This is made by a sixth grader. What's your excuse then? Okay, hold. As a 28 year old, you could lock in a little. As a 35 year old, what do you know anyway? Do you even know how to use the command line? Do you even know how to use a mouse? Or are you tapping on your monitor trying to open up notes? Hold, hold. Hold. I gave it a little too much sauce. Slipped right through. I mean, you got to admit, it's, it's taking quite a vector here. Oh, oh, it's got the front spin, though. It needed back spin. Okay, just don't take the golden path. There we go. We got a little window. Shouldn't I be gaining speed, bro? I'm running downhill. No! Why does this motherfucker have uncapped acceleration? My acceleration's capped. Oh! <laughs> Try rolling down the hill. Son of a bitch. I got an idea. Okay. Almost. Good idea. Good idea. It's not going to get held there. We're, we're, oh, uh, Plinko. Okay. But I, I can always rely on the windmills. Hey, ghost pepper, ghost pepper. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you.
can always rely on the windmills. I can see it. I can see it with my eyes. It's going to get stuck right there. Oh, what did the, what is this thing weigh, bro? <clears throat> it would be faster to just restart. We don't, uh, we don't do that here. We enjoy the journey. We don't trick ourselves into thinking that we're actually doing something that needs to be done. We enjoy the highs and the lows. Okay, there we go. If you wanted to finish the game as fast as possible, here's one tip that devs hate. Never start. That's damn true. Sisyphus didn't have hold R either. There were no medieval times. <clears throat> there were no utensils in medieval times. Hence, there are no utensils at medieval times. The devs seem to hate neuron activation too. Yeah, this game is pretty dumb. It would be much better if it was like cerebral. Like, you know, an RPG where you fight a water boss and you're like, oh, I think I'm going to use a lightning spell. You know, something like a little difficult like that. Like a bit of a puzzle. He gets me. Uncalled for? It was very called for. You're insulting this game. Just because you got no character. This is the problem with the, the, the Twitch chatters, man. They get 10 skill points on spawn. They say, you know what? 25 in int, minus 5 in fortitude. Hold, hold, hold. <laughs> Fortunate son or communist daughter? I mean, I guess like in the whole scheme of things, I'd rather have a fortunate son. Fortunate seems like a trait that um, could, well, could exist if you were really pressed about them being a communist. They could be fortunate and a communist simultaneously. I would rather lock in the exceedingly rare fortunate trait. And then the rest of it, I mean, it, it's not like being fortunate is going to slow you down. It's going to speed you up. Unbased? I think it's pretty based. I'm not anti-communism necessarily. I'm just saying, like, she could discover, you know, the works of Karl Marx and Engels through uh, the way that you guys did as well. Twitch streaming and Bob's Burgers. You know, it's still there. It's not like it's going anywhere. Unless it's owned by Warner Brothers, which it might be, in which case it might be deleted from streaming platforms. I don't know. push black hole son or nobody's daughter that's just a real question wait no it does have son and daughter in it i mean i gotta take black hole son on that one i guess bro we'd be dead yeah what was the other one? <laughs> Hungry daughter. Push, push, push. Has he ever been this far? This far back? Uh, once or twice. It 
It's the same thing, though. Like, this is all a spawn from the real social media trend, right? Where people ask themselves, would you rather have a gay son or, like, a promiscuous daughter? I feel like I'm, I've been losing my mind unless the joke is lost on me. I'm like, why would I care about either? It's none of my business. That's, it's their business, man. I don't get it. I, 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 I reject the premise of the question. I don't understand why I would, why I would care. Hey, Acrylic Arrow, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. If you had to pick, though, I, I, like, I don't have to pick. You could have both. You could have neither. I just, I don't know. I just don't care. You can reject the premise. Yes, I've got permission to reject the premise. It's called an intellectual exercise. I, don't, I mean, the problem for me, I guess I'm, I'm weaseling out of it, but I'm like, the idea is like, which one is less bad? But like, I don't see any of them as like bad. What do I care? It's like, would you rather have a glass of water or a mug of water? I'm like, I don't know. What do you got, man? We're going to make it through either way. It's a nothing burger. Glass, 100%. Yeah, it was a bad analogy because glass is the gimme. But <laughs> hold, hold. We don't have any fucking glasses. DoorDash son or Instacart daughter? Instacart daughter. I don't know how to explain it. I'm merely an observer of this. I'm probably not the progenitor of it. For so, Inst Instacart, to me, seems less morally bankrupt than using DoorDash. Morally is probably not the right word. Spiritually. What's the Instacart business model? Like, if you bought $100 worth of groceries at the store, what would it cost to get delivered on Instacart? I honestly don't know. Okay, we'll get the joke answers out of the way. Instacart is usually like a $10 fee and then tips. Okay. Well, I mean, the tip is a gimme. That's, that's baked in if you're ever, you know, getting someone to deliver something to your house, basically. It's like a $5 fee. I'm just, I, I don't know if anybody has an answer here. No shot, it's five bucks. Followed by, it's 250 CAD. It's serious, he's squinting. Well, I'm not going to use it. I like going to the grocery store. Like, I, for me, I, I'm not saying it's solving a problem that doesn't exist, but it's solving a problem that I don't have. But I don't know, I guess it's like with groceries. Like, you're getting, like, enough food most of the time to cook several meals. Whereas when you get DoorDash, you're usually usually just buying like dinner <laughs> for one day. It's like a a, a short term solution to a problem that you're just gonna have in the morning when you're hungry anyway. Whereas at least like if you're hungry and you get Instacart, you potentially solved your problem for like a week. I guess that's why. For me, my gut reaction is your spirit is stronger if you use Instacart than if you use DoorDash. But it's also not fair because I also think your spirit is stronger if you use Uber Eats than it is if you use DoorDash. And that's the same damn service. 
there's just something about i mean i like i'm not going to bad for uber eats i'm just saying fuck doordash even more and i don't even know why it's just a like a brand awareness type thing it's a plus two but i don't get it either i i know man What about skip the dishes? Skip the dishes, I think, is the most cooked. In Canada, at least. And again, I can't explain why. I guess I just don't like orange. It's just, it's vibes based. Yeah, it's just vibes. I don't know. I think I am becoming like a butlerian jihad guy. And it like couldn't be more of a caricature because I make my living in like the most fucking <laughs> bullshit tech adjacent industry of all time that's literally ever existed ever. But I'm like, I'm at the point now where I'm like, I want to see every business with a computer fail. And you know what it is? And it's, it's not just that I think that like some of the businesses are making our lives worse a little bit. It's, it's, and this is not fair. This is, this is my own psychosis. It's the thread boys on Twitter. And so I'm sorry if you're running like an AI company and you're tweeting like, you know, like we're the prophets of our times. We're the modern day, like, you know, Thomas Edison, like moving society forward by ourselves and everybody's like conspiring against us and stuff like that. I'm like, I want to see, I want to see your company fail. Because you're not talking like you're one of us. You're talking like you're, you're our enemy. It, it, it gives the idea that you're looking down. Like, you, you see the tweet? I mean, this is bait designed to go viral. The tweet from the guy that was like, one of the scariest traps you can get into as like a middle-aged man is like having a wife and kids and a stable job that pays you six figures. And everybody was like, why? <laughs> And then the, his reply was like, because it saps your ambition to like start your own billion dollar company. And I'm like, I don't want to do that, man. <laughs> I think most, peop most people want to have like a billion dollars versus, you know, not having money. But like, I don't want to fucking start a, hey, we deliver some shit you used to only be able to buy in a store. Like, that's not your life, man. Like, you're, I mean, it's money, it's helpful, but it's not your life. Your life is like, I don't know, it's based on your values. Some of us, it could be maximizing gooning time. For some of us, it could be maximizing, like, family time. This, this mass psychosis of, like, you know, oh, you've got a job that's, like, in the top 1%, but you got to be in the top 0.1%. Like, that's... I don't know, mass media induced mental illness or something, in my opinion. It's so like if some, whenever somebody starts like a, a drywalling business and it, you know, starts with just them in a van and then 20 years later they have like 10 employees and like a eight figure net worth, I feel like I'm like, good for you, brother. No disrespect. Maybe it's because they're not writing letters to the editor in a newspaper about how much better they are than people who are just like living their lives and actually keeping society running. I don't know. The Thread Boys have done an, in an incredible amount of damage to, to the, my perception of tech culture, in my opinion. I, I don't mean this to be disrespectful if you're a software engineer. In fact, like, I would be inclined to think that maybe you are more inclined to agree with me, but I'm like, you're, you're, you're banging out code on a computer, man. Like, I'm not saying it's meritless, but like, we should cool it with the self aggrandizement. Same thing with like stand up comedians, man. Like you're up there telling jokes. Sure. It can be, it can be bigger than that sometimes, but at the same time, the, you know, the idea that you're a modern day, like philosopher is, is insane. But like, as always, I think it's just social media. I guess that's what, it's a lot of talking just to be like, hmm. I think the worst 2% of people on social media have ruined society forever. Okay, I just wait it out for a second.
hold, hold. Try again. Okay, we're going to hold. Okay, we're going to hold on this one. Okay, we're just going to hold. I know we go through this a lot, but like... I just like, and I think it's, it, the reason it annoys me is because I think if you were like 18 on the internet, you're still figuring out how like society works. You can get a misrepresented view of what normal life is like. But as a 35 year old, when I see someone whose Twitter profile is like, I sold my company for $300 million. And then I look at their tweets and they're like tweeting 200 times a day, like thread boy blue check bait to get people to sign up for their medium or Substack newsletter. I'm like, you spent it? Is that what happened? Because like you, you did it. You, it. According to your own principles, like you won the game. And now you're out here like still playing. Like you, you won dynasty mode and now you're out here doing like exhibition matches. In a way, I kind of respect the tech people who spend or who sell their company for exorbitant amount of monies and then go crazy. Like there's something honorable about selling email three and then being like, I'm dedicating my life to becoming a vampire by getting a transfusion of my son's blood once every six weeks. Or yeah, like I'm not saying you got to hand it to John McAfee, okay? I'm just saying that to me seems in a way less spiritually vacant than like oh now that i sold my company i can finally start my newsletter about like the the trials and tribulations of the hardest job ever invented being a founder of a startup in silicon valley i'm not saying you don't have stress and like responsibilities and stuff like that i'm just saying like be fucking chill a little man I don't even know what the fuck Y Combinator is. Did they give the seed money to that startup that was going to reinvent like the grilled cheese or something? Or Juice Row? Did they do Juice Row? No. When you sell your stream, are you going to become a spiritual leader? Unfortunately, thanks to Justin Trudeau, I can't afford to sell my stream anymore because they just raised the capital gains tax. Or if I do it, I got to do it before, I think, like June 24th. So I don't know. This might be like the last two months before it gets sold to private equity. I'll buy it. You don't want it. You don't want to know how much I would charge for it, man. You see the S&P 500 right now with the interest rates at like 6.25%. It's, it's crazy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask something offensive for it. $85,000. I'm going to Dragon's Den. Hold, hold. No, ice, bro. Can we get some kitty litter out here? Hold, hold, hold. You should go public. <laughs> Dude. It's a good idea. It's IPO season, right? No, it's gray sweatpants season. My mistake. This is, uh, Dio Guiga, this is an honest question for you. I'm not trying to say that your life is fake. I know that's the way that people are going to take it. I'm asking it from a position of curiosity. Are there examples of companies for whom 
the experience for customers got better after they went public. There must be some in the, in the history of markets that we can talk about. Because the stereotype is definitely like, hey, they opened one store. It's the greatest store of all time. It became a, a, a phenomenon in the local community. And then uh, they were like, well, I don't want to just have one store anymore. We're going to franchise. So now they've got like eight in the local community. And then they go like national and international. Then they go public and it's like it's over. But there must be some that went the other way that was like this company's cooked and then it went public and the money actually helped it like <laughs> stay alive and, and serve customers well. Instead of just like, hey, we don't have growth this quarter. Let's cut a service that's been free for like 20 years to simulate like the hockey stick going up. Hold. 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 <clears throat> hold. Hold. It's going to stick. I'm going to make it. I'm going to... Oh, no. Don't get greedy. There's got to be examples, man. Give me one. Well, that's why I'm asking the dude who's in, you know, finance to give me one. Costco's public. It is, but like, is it better as a result of being public? I guess it's impossible to know. There's examples of companies that customers like that are public. Are there examples of companies customers were kind of like out on and then going public has improved the customer experience? You know, wait for it. Wait for it. What about Monster? Monster energy drink? Is a monster owned by someone? Yeah, the shareholders, bro. I'm just saying, I feel like it should be easy to get that answer. Because I never, I never saw myself getting radicalized to the point, especially as someone who owns stocks, where I'm like, as soon as your company goes public, you're fucking toast. Hey, yo, AA Ron, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Why do you feel that way? I just feel like over time... Companies, but especially public companies, consistently get worse. Like, this is obviously comparing apples and oranges. But, like, at least in the last couple of years, I've really swerved from, like, I'll just buy everything on Amazon because, like, it's cheaper there and I don't have to go to the store to, like, I'm going to go to, like, Bill's bookstore and buy some books from Bill. Why? It's an extra two bucks a book, but Bill's lifelong dream was to run a bookstore, and he's been running it since 1971, and at checkout, we have a nice conversation, and I'm, like, supporting the local community, and then when, when I get home with my book, I don't have to break down 17 cardboard boxes... See, that's the thing. You can't. It, people are not monoliths, man. People are like, I can't believe I'm getting this take from somebody with a grass lawn. People 
not complex. It's a complicated world, man. That's a new record for us today. What's the point of going public? Well, like the people who have equity in the company when it goes public tend to make a lot of money. So that's, I mean, I'm not just being cynical. Like that's a big one. Hold, hold. Also, like the stock market is an incredible wealth building engine if you can afford to buy stocks, which increasingly it seems like people can't. <laughs> and it's not really their fault most of the time. So like, I'm not saying it's all bad. Like as an investor, these public companies are, are doing some good work, you know, from the financial standpoint from time to time. I just feel like as a customer, sometimes I'm like, what the fuck, man? You got Amazon Prime Video has ads now? I thought the whole point was it was adless, bro. Then you turn on the TV and there's ads for Amazon. I'm like, what, the, what, what percentage of the economy is ads, man? By the way, ad break real quick. But I'm like, you're serving ads on your media platform and then you're taking the money from those advertisers and buying ads on another media platform? Like, it's just, it's, it's just a money... A money dishwasher, bro. Why don't you just run ads before Amazon Prime Video that says buy shit on Amazon? I don't know. It's probably more complicated than that, but. Oh. I work in advertising, stop blowing my shit up. I will say I've long been a proponent of the idea that advertisers or advertising doesn't work, but I think it is naive, obviously. But um, I also encountered a specific example of it working on me. Saw an ad for McDonald's coffee. It said, we've changed our coffee recipe. We've got a new cold brew. I said, next time I'm in McDonald's, I'm getting the cold brew, no doubt. And as long as it's morning time. I've been influenced. It's that easy. But I'm never going to buy a Chevy Silverado. All right. It's truck month. <laughs> oh, he won. He won truck of the year at Car and Driver magazine for... 17 consecutive years. What car do you own? 1972 Ferrari F40. Candy apple red. I'm thinking of getting one. How is it? Maintenance is kind of a bitch. Um... But it does turn a lot of heads when you go to daycare pickup. That didn't come out to the 80s. Yeah, I got the concept version. I got the conceptual version last time I was in Modena. They're surprised you're not 65. All I'm asking is uh, for honesty from those of you who live in the lower mainland area of British Columbia. The stereotypes are reversed here. I know like when, it, when I'm in my hometown, if I see a dude driving like a, a sports car, I expect it to be a balding middle-aged or older man. Um, when I see like a Lamborghini in Vancouver, I'm like 100% odds it's a 19-year-old kid behind the wheel. With like 17 Disney Sum Sums on the dashboard. Wow. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Hold, hold, hold. What about white Teslas? 
they're just everywhere here. Like, I, I can't derive a stereotype about Tesla drivers in Vancouver because it, it's the, the Y and the white Model 3 are the, the most common vehicle I see on a daily basis, without a doubt. Help, help, help. It's, it is like the default car here. Which, like, listen, I do not like Elon Musk. And, yeah, sometimes the cars explode. <laughs> Big whoop. <laughs> Sorry. But um, I think it's a good thing. We got great electrical car infrastructure. And our power is largely derived from hydroelectric dams. So I'm like, I think it's a positive, man. It's better than it all being Ford F-150s and Dodge Ram 1500s, in my opinion. I think you got to take the good with the bad. What about cyber trucks? I am stunned that I live in Vancouver and I have not seen anybody get a cyber truck. Or I haven't seen a cyber truck on the road, I should say. I thought for sure we would be like one of the top 25 North American destinations for cyber truck deliveries. Because... Uh, a lot of not smart people live here and also a lot of people who are very concerned with outward status live here. So I was like, we're going to see, like, listen, it's going to be San Francisco, like probably Austin, Seattle for sure, then Los Angeles. I don't know where, maybe, I don't know where you'd go after that, but I think Vancouver's pretty close. Hi, Tomo. No! Then Kingston. So true. I remember when, when Teslas were just starting to get like some market share. My parents would always talk about them. They'd be like, they knew who owned one. There's 100,000 people that live in the city. They'd be like, yeah, you know, like so-and-so's son has one. Uh, this, it, it's a nice place to live in, man, you, where everybody knows your name. Every time you saw the, the Tesla Model S, like 2016 edition outside, you'd be like, there goes, there goes so-and-so's son. What's he doing? <laughs> Probably going to the Starbucks inside of the damn chapters. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Every cyber truck got recalled. Yeah, but can't they just put out like a hydrophobic coating over the air update or something like that? Just a software update that's like, we're good. You can put us through a car wash now. Lock in, lock in. Get it twisted. If you lock in, you can do anything. Motherfucker. Get it twisted. Your actions impact nothing. Your fate is predetermined. The only thing that you can change is your reaction to it. Okay, lock in. Get it twisted. You can do anything you set your mind to. The world is a playground designed for you and only you to achieve your highest level ambitions. Nothing can stop you if you have... If you wait 90 minutes to wake up until you drink your first cup of coffee, nothing can stop you. If you duct tape your mouth when you fall asleep, nothing can stop you. Get it twisted. You are a pawn in a universe chess match. You mean nothing to God if they even exist. You're a rounding error. You're two pennies on a Fortune 500 company's balance sheet. They don't care about you in the slightest. Get it twisted. Everybody gets what they deserve in this life. If you put in effort, you can achieve anything. Successful people are better people. Get it twisted. The circumstances surrounding your birth determine where you are going to go. Nothing else matters at all. Your own level of education, your attitude, your, your level of effort. Your friends, your network, your business, your credentials. Motherfucker! Wait, wait, wait. 
there may still be a small sliver of hope. Mr. Tempestilence, Mr. Tempestilence, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. Hold, I was optimistic. What a bounce though? Okay, it slowed it down. Mm, that's bad. Yes. So I was trying to go Beach Boys mode. Never punished. This whole segment has been punishment, man. By the way, someone said, when are you going to grow your hair? So I, I, this is a, an addendum to uh, a story from maybe two weeks ago at this point. I was kind of growing my beard. And then uh, I thought that... I, so I have this electric trimmer that comes with a built-in guard. All you do is twist the, uh, a knob on it. And then it shows you the millimeter length of hair that it will leave. So after I, I had grown it out for maybe... Two and a half, three weeks. I wanted to trim the stragglers. I put the guard on like, I don't know, four or five, something like that. It was a buzzsaw. Cut, cut the hair clean off. And I said, oh, I guess this shit just doesn't work. Was shaving yesterday. Said, you know what? I got a nice little line here. Maybe I'll keep it up for just a little bit. Opened my bathroom drawer uh, and found a bag that has the guard in it. That you, like when you apply the guard to the razor and then you twist the knob, it clearly extends the guard further away than the blade. I was literally just twisting on that shit with like pure hopium. Like there was no mechanism that would cause the, <laughs> the hair to be left longer. So that's my bad. Sorry to the Philips Corporation. I wasn't familiar with your game. They do make good trimmers. I got nothing against it. So I don't know. I kind of like, I like my little beard around this length. I might try to trim it here for a little bit. But definitely, I'm I'm going uh, I'm going guardless on the head. I've I've come to terms with the fact that I don't think the horseshoe is the look. Not not at 35. Maybe at 45, I can let a little horseshoe pop. But I think 35 is just a little too early. It stings, but it's the right call. But why? Well, I feel like uh, not a not a Costanza horseshoe, but like a close crop horseshoe, like enough so you can see the hairline, but like not enough that you could actually like stroke the hair. Something dignified about it, something stately. But I still think, even though I'm old, I think I'm a little too young to to wear it authentically. I would be wearing a costume right now. I think. No, Tiger, I'm listen, I'm not an aesthetics guy. Tiger's got to clean that shit up or he's got to get a lot better at golf. I know he's still like way better than I am, but like I'm just saying. He, I know he's gone through a lot of stuff. He's got and his his body's been through the ringer. But if he's, if he's going to be mid at golf by PGA standards, he should clean that up. He's still the GOAT. Um, excuse me, you haven't heard of uh, Jack Nicholas? old ass <laughs> I never saw Jack Nicholas play 
pretty sure he retired in like 1982 or something like that. It is crazy. Like golf looks like a sport where you don't need to be in good shape. But like all the golfers are in good shape now. And baseball looks like a sport where you would kind of need to be in good shape. Some of them are, but like <laughs> some of them aren't. But I, I also think like, I'm trying to think of the best way to phrase it. So I, as I understand it, a lot of baseball players are getting injured now. And I saw like a little clip of an interview on Twitter where an ex-baseball player said people didn't get injured as much back in my day because fat doesn't pull. Like the pitchers are getting so muscular that they can generate so much force that it actually like destroys their, their arm, their elbow, and their shoulder. And I'm like, you know, maybe there's something to that, man. Maybe the athletes are getting too athletic. Having some fat is actually performative. Or performant, I should say, I guess. Performative is the... <laughs> Isn't that when you're doing something just to be seen doing it? What do I know about the English language? Hold, hold, hold. This is why weightlifters are chubby. Yeah, but like, okay, my data point is low, or is, is bad on this one. But did you see Physical 100 Season 2? The strong man on that has done unbelievable damage to the reputation of strong men worldwide for anybody who watched the show. The dude was like 5'8", 280, and deadlifts like 700 pounds. And then he had no cardio, which is to be expected because he's specking the muscles instead of cardio. But then he also wasn't even lifting the most shit, man. There were like dudes who just looked like normal dudes were lifting more than him and then like jogging it to the destination. And this dude like couldn't even push it. The, the strong man got washed in the strength competition. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You see Gibson carry 45 bags of sand. That's what I'm saying, man. You're looking at a dude who looks like the mountain versus Gibson who's like, I'm a chartered accountant in Boulder, Colorado. The strong man can't lift the bags Gibson was just fucking no-selling it, man. He did have the bald buff. Well, was he a power lifter or a strong man? Listen, you might be able to get away with that at family dinner. You and I know they're the same thing. Oh, no, it's different. A power lifter lifts heavy weights. A strong man lifts heavy rocks. Come on. Okay, hold on. Hold hey, where are you going? Dampen the momentum. Dam we consider yourself dampened. It's a dumb take. Well, the power lifter didn't win either. No disrespect. I hate it too because it's not my physique. But as usual, the best athletes in Physical 100, it turns out, are the, the lean guys who uh, do lots of like, <laughs> I don't know, relevant exercise that we all know is good for us, but sometimes isn't as good for the ego. No, here we go. It's it, it's all it, exact. It's always the dudes who are you know jogging and doing pull ups. It's never the dude who's like I'm injecting human growth hormone and I have a 900 pound squat. But it it blew my mind because I was like at least like the strong guy is probably not gonna win, but at least he's gonna crush the the strength challenge. And then he couldn't do the strength challenge, and I was like. What are you doing? Like, what are you good for? No disrespect. Like, as an individual, 
like I'm sure you've got merits, but like that's what you're here for. That's why you got picked on the team is because you're like the strongest guy. And then dudes half your weight are like pushing more than you. Faster than you and more. That's rough, man. Human growth hormone isn't anabolic. This is bait. Isn't anabolic just means build mass? If you grow more fucking body, it has more mass, man. It's got to be anabolic. Max pull ups NL? I don't know. If it. If I'm comfortable, three. If you put a gun to my head, four, if I had to guess. I got seven in me right now. I mean, honestly, there's just like... There's different body phenotypes, right? I don't have pull-up phenotype. I have relatively weak grip and a very large lower body. It's anti pull up tech. That's fake. It's not fake. <laughs> go go watch the strong man do the pull up competition. They put him up against a 110 pound 16 year old kid who plays League of Legends professionally. The League of Legends gamer did 713 pull-ups. The strong man did half of one with assistance. I'm just, I, I'm not a climber, man. I'm like, a, I'm a pusher. My body's built for pushing. Now, I don't do much of that either. Hold. Hold. Sumo's meant for pushing. That's what I'm saying. I'm like a... Are there weight divisions in sumo? Could I be in like the 68 kilogram sumo division? On Takeshi's castle there is. Okay. That's still on there? That's the audience. I don't think I'm 68 kilos, but can somebody do the pound conversion? This is like when I told the anesthesiologist I weighed 65 kilos, and then she said, okay, any questions before the procedure? And I was like, wait a second, I gotta do some math. It's 155 pounds. Okay, let's try 72 kilos then. Hang on. Wow. Wow. 72 kilos, 158 pounds. Okay, let's try like 76 kilos. We're getting there. I don't have a scale anymore. I don't know what happened to our scale. It used to be in my bathroom. And then I think like one day we weighed my daughter and then I've never seen it again. Least American chatter. Bro, just say your weight in pounds and we'll do the conversion. My scale's in fucking kilos, bro. It's under the sink. We're what the land folks love to cook. Under the sink, we off the hook. We got no troubles. Life is the bubbles under the, under the sink. You know what I'm talking about? How many stone, though? I'm going to say I'm 16 stone-ish. And maybe a couple of pebbles, plus or minus.
That's huge. You're more like 13 stone. I think I did the math wrong. One stone is 14 pounds. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right about that one. Oh, God, he's still pushing the rock. Not only am I pushing the rock, I'm, I have not yet today made it as far as where I started. But again, I don't know. I think I... <laughs> It builds, I, I, I hate that I'm not being ironic when I say this. It builds character, man. You must disabuse yourself of the notion that just because you put time into something, you're going to make progress. It's the way of the world sometimes, bro. Sometimes you spend three hours on an issue and you leave it worse than you found it. This ain't school. This is real life. Okay. Now, I will say we got to give it an honest effort. I'm not glancing. I don't, I don't like the angle. I don't like the angle. Settle it. Settle it down a little. Settle it. Settle it down a touch. Settle it, settle it, settle it. Give it a little push. It's easier to it's easier to adjust the position when you got a little bit of forward momentum on it as well. Okay, a little fast. You know what I like? Okay, well, you know, we'll go again. <laughs> okay. Go. Yahoo! It's going to hold. That's life, man. That's life sometimes. Right on the corner. Right. On, I, it's okay. I got a chance to catch up a little bit. Go to where the ball's going to be. Huge. Huge. See, I would close the game and never open it again. Just need to build the callus, in my opinion. I almost feel like the, the, the play on the ramp is you give it a push to send it up, let it fall back a little bit, and then like adjust the position with another push. That makes sense to me. You know you did this first time the other day? It's crazy because I'm Sisyphus and like you're the ones typing the same messages over and over. Something interesting in there. Something to tease out. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hang on, hold. I got to cough out some lung butter. Just hold, hold, hold. It's stable. We're so back. I guess we could just pause it. Hold, hold. No! Okay, stability, stability. Stability. Isn't lung butter just phlegm? See, you're, it's giving um, that guy on Twitter today who said, I'm finally publishing my dictionary of words that people only use in order to seem smarter than they are. And then when you open the Google Doc, it's like actual words that have unique definitions that are important to use in conversation if you're trying to have some degree of specificity.
I mean, like, dude said you can't use ontological. You know, I, I was actually proud of the internet that everybody was making fun of that document because in, like, internet 2006, that would have become, like, a style guide that could have determined the outcome of, like, an uh, incalculable amount of internet arguments. You would be like, well... You won the argument. Unfortunately, you use this trigger word that's in the dictionary for pseudo intellectuals, which means you know you're just putting on airs. Now, oh no! People nipped that shit in the bud this time, which I was very I was very grateful for, as someone who loves to use a lot of synonyms. Don't use incalculable. Incalculable is a word that means it cannot be calculated. Unless something's actually infinite, you should just use a lot. Hold. NL, do you carry a knife? Yep. And in my house, I have many firearms. And it's booby-trapped to the gills. So don't try it, kid. Don't try it. You might just fucking get your beanie lit on fire by a blowtorch attached to a string connected to my doorknob. You might slip on some fucking black ice coming down the back steps. You might get shot in the cock with a pellet gun or gaslit into thinking that a 70-year-old man's about to riddle you with bullets from his Tommy gun. You might get electrocuted until your skeleton shows through your damn skin. might fall two stories through a gap in the floor, land fully on your back horizontal in a concrete basement, and then have a pound of fucking cement dropped on your head from three stories up. You might have a fucking paint can slung from a string pendulumed out into the middle of your cerebral cortex. You might be waiting at a door with your ear to it, in order to hear what's going on, and then you hear, and then you start to run, but it's too late because the red tool case is already coming down the stairs and it blows the door off its hinges and then pancakes you against the wall. Who let this man talk? Kate, I'm home alone posting. I'm still laughing from yesterday's You Don't Know Jack when like four people... Guess that Torah, Torah, Torah is a movie musical. Oh, man. A lean night. Sorry, Torah, Torah, Torah. I don't believe that's a lean movie. I believe that I'm thinking of a bri the bridge on the River Kwai, but still it's an opportunity to reference it. Dr. Zhivago. <laughs> Sorry. Unforgivable. A brief encounter. The bridge on the River Kwai. A lean night. No! Okay, that's fine. We go again. Stop the bit. We're literally, like, I'm feeding you gold. And you're like, no, push the rock up the hill. You are, like, you're fucking six years old. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay, well, fair enough. This is enrichment time. You cultivated this? Wrong. It's your problem. I take responsibility for my own neuroses and my own neuroses only. Hey, Zimbiji, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't understand the reference, so the rock superseded it. Okay, well, that I can understand. Hold, hold, hold. Set it up nice. So flattering. Kate, you've been in here for like 40 minutes now. Good stream today. Good. She loves the rock. What can I say? 
She shows up for Balatro sometimes, but I don't think it's necessarily 100% her tempo, but The Rock is, is hitting the spot. Phrasing. Hold. 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 This is not going to work, man. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Can I tell you? Ev rules exist to be broken, right? I forget what night it was, but it was definitely sometime this week. Kate said, like, we got stuff to do tonight. Can you just order a pizza? I said, sure, but do you mind if I order something else? We've had a little too much pizza lately. And then I, I pulled up Uber Eats and started setting up a sushi order. Then I passed her the phone and I said, why don't you pick what you want? And she said, uh, I don't really feel like sushi tonight. So I said, you know what? I went downstairs, I ordered a pizza. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Strength. Strength, strength. Okay, next time. Did you, did you see him fucking hacky sack that shit, man? Okay. Cold turkey, the glancing. is honestly crazy how much I control your happiness. I am laughing. I'm, there's a smile on my face that I cannot wipe off. The, this is it? The ball in the ramp? That's determining whether you have a good or a bad day? You're just a feather adrift in the damn wind, brother. You got to plant your feet. But just for you, I'm going to do my best, okay? It's not your fault. It's not, it, okay, th that I simply don't believe. I simply don't believe that I have the strength to push the rock that fast off of the thing. Like this, this thing must weigh like three ounces total. But that's all right. We go again. Just dampen. Dampen it. Consider yourself dampened, okay? Hold. Hold. Hold, hold. It's the damn ice, man. Favorite song on Guitar Hero 3? Let me think about that. Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. So you got um, When You Were Young by The Killers. You got Miss Murder by AFI. Cliffs of Dover by Eric Johnson. Trying to think of what else is on. Hangar 18, that's Guitar Hero 2, you Philistine. Knights of Sidonia, okay. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Cherub Rock. Um, I don't know if that's in a Guitar Hero, but it, that's definitely a Rock Band 1 classic. The Metal. One by Metallica. Yeah. Helicopter was in that. I know what you're talking about. My name is Jonas. I will say, I'm not going to answer your question directly. I listen to a, a wide array of music, pretty much everything but country and rap. But playing so much rock band in college, it definitely had an impact on my musical taste. Like my Peloton playlist will go like, um, it'll be like, okay, step one, Beachcomber by Real Estate, track two, Flirting with Disaster by Molly Hatchet. And I'm out there, because I got the damn, the drum part they wrote for that? Harmonics broke the fucking mold on the drum track for Flirting with Disaster. It's still in my head. Beep, 
What a song, though, man. Does Molly Hatchet have any other good songs? Or did they just write Flirting with Disaster 10 out of 10 and then go like, we're taking the rest of the life off, man? Because that's a great song. I got no like affinity for Southern rock necessarily, but they blew the damn doors off with that one. Hold. They have three platinum records. It's not what I asked. They were in Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. That's not what I asked. Do they have any other good songs? Do they, did they make like a Flirting with Disaster 2? Because like I'd be interested. It ain't for everybody. Oh, come on, babe. Hold. I'm just saying they don't be handing those out. They kind of did in like the 70s and the 80s. Nowadays, you want a platinum record, you gotta, I mean, you gotta be popping off, no doubt about it, but. You know what's a great song you don't hear about that much if you don't listen to the radio like me? She Sells Sanctuary by The Cult. That's, a, that's a, probably the best U2 song not written by U2. I like a song with a riff. Money for Nothing, She Sells Sanctuary, My Sharona, Short Skirt, Long Jacket. Soldier Boy, Tell Him. Hold, 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 don't hold. Jerk it out by the Caesars. You're back, huh? I mean, if you're going to listen to Jerk It Out by the Caesars, couldn't you just like skip the, you know, elementary school part of the syllabus and just go straight to like white blood cells by the white stripes? Like something that has a little bit of a cultural footprint. Okay, how about boom? Hold, 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 hold. Okay, hold, hold. Okay, here we go. This one's for you. I don't want to ruin your day, John Bryan. I kind of like this spin. I kind of like it. It's, give, it's giving me predictability. We start again. I gave it a little too much that way. Yeah, re recover. Not a big push. Just, a, just enough to get the momentum started again. Okay, we tried. We tried. We go again. We go again. It had some great English on it, though. This is how I always fucking get fucked, bro. Why are you trying to finesse it up? Just take it down easily and go up the ramp again. It's been nearly three hours. You know what's crazy is that you're saying it like it's a bad thing, yet you've been here the whole time. It'd be a bad business decision to get over the ramp at this point. You might leave. I got nothing better to do. You know what? I flipped that around on you because you made it sound like a negative. Watching me is the best thing you could be doing right now. Thank you. That's very flattering. Because you got a lot of options. Could be napping, could be doing nothing, making a snack in the kitchen, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Max, NBA All Access, League Pass, Sri Lankan cricket match to fuel your gambling addiction. Like, there's lots of options, man, and you're still here. That's a compliment and a half as far as I'm concerned. I appreciate that. Little foosball for you. 
NHL playoffs start this weekend. Damn true. My reaction, though, when the Canucks games are at 7 p.m., because the first two games are in Vancouver. Come on, bro. Some of us go to work in the morning. 7 p.m. Pacific time? Puck drop? Come. And you know that, that that's before you get the anthem and the land acknowledgement. And then there's two anthems because we're playing an American team. Because it's game one of the playoffs, they're going to do like some kind of some shit on the Jumbotron that's going to be 10 minutes long. It's going to be like Connor Garland in the Born Identity or something like that. This shit's not going to drop till like 7.08. Might be asleep by then. They got to get the anthem out of the games. I honestly like it just because it's... I don't know. There's pageantry. I, li I like the anthem being in the game. As long as the players stand up for it, am I right? <laughs> I'm just joking. Or whatever. They should. Once a year, they should do Good Charlotte Night and then play the anthem by Good Charlotte. When they, if they ever do like Emo Night at the, at the Canucks game. If you could we ask you to rise, stand up from your seat, remove your hat if you're able, and join us for the singing of your national anthem. You don't want to be just like you. See, what I'm saying is, this is the anthem. Throw all your hands up. I don't know what else he says. How was good Charlotte emo? Listen, motherfucker. It's pop punk, and they wear some eyeliner. Maybe it's not emo, but dude, I don't know any emo songs called the anthem. And I've, I've, Sunny Day Real Estate's not playing Rogers Arena, bro. They're probably working like white-collar jobs in the Midwest right now. Hey, Monkwell, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wee, wee. The basses plays in the Foo Fighters. I didn't know what they were doing, honestly. I just thought Sunny Day Real Estate might have been one of those bands that was, like, influential in the 90s but never made it commercially and then, like, uh, entered the zeitgeist 10 years after they broke up and their success led to them getting a lot of notoriety but very few record sales because everybody was just pirating Diary over and over. But I might be mistaken. I mean, I, wasn't, I was, like, four when, when Diary came out, I think. Hold. Hold. Diaries from 2004. Dio Guiga. Come on, man. It's from 2004. Maybe the 10 year remasters from 2004. Sorry, 1990. There we go. See? Okay, hold, hold, hold. Hold. Get all the glancing out now. Dio Guiga, were you here when I asked for an example of a company that got better for the customer after they went public? There's lots of companies that have gone public and delivered tremendous value to the shareholder. He was, he couldn't think of one, he said. Okay. Most honest person in finance. I wasn't here, no, never mind. He ducked the question. Okay, I got a little too much impulse on that. We give it a little push. We, we don't try to finesse it up the ramp. We give it a little push to come out the side, and then we grab it in the ball hopper, and then we go again. Same shit, different day. Ain't nothing good in the hood. I'd run away from this bitch and never come back if I could. Hold. It's it's gonna it's gonna get two holds here. It's not enough. It's not enough. That might be enough. Anticipate. Anticipate. 
Yeah, I think I need the glance. I'm at my best when I'm glancing. Okay, you do you, brother. Y'all take care now. Hold, hold. I'm, I don't know why I'm doing catch and release. You should try Adderall. Um, this is this is me bragging. I think I'm past the point in my life where I like need a stimulant stronger than caffeine. If anything, I think if if I'm entering a phase, I'm entering like a sedative phase. Well, yeah, really, really great pushing that time. Really good. Oh, good. This, look at the fucking spin on this, Tim Wakefield. What am I supposed to do with this? It's by friction. It's a lathe, man. It's a lathe. I'm not going to have any fingerprints left. Okay, hold, hold. Nah, I don't think I'm going to do ketamine. I don't think I'm going to do anything. But I'm definitely, ketamine wouldn't be the, on the list, I think. Why not? Well, I feel like whenever we talk about ketamine, I'm always like, isn't that the one that literally pokes irreparable holes in your brain? And then people are like, that's war on drugs propaganda. Yes, it does do that, but it, that's, you're, you're buying the propaganda. Yes, but hear me out. <laughs> hold, hold, hold. I just don't think I'm that guy, man. It's literally used for surgery. Yeah, but like, no disrespect, the anesthesiologist ain't coming home and like, well, I don't know, maybe he is, but he probably wouldn't recommend it to his patients. And they're like, you know, hitting you up with the anesthetic and then they're like, you know, doing an orchidectomy, right? They're not like hitting you up with the anesthetic and they're like, let's watch some fucking Ren and Stimpy or whatever. Let's go hide in the bathroom for two hours. What the hell is angel dust? Angel dust is PCP. I'm going to tell the same PCP story that I heard from our like don't do drugs class in middle school that I always tell. I think PCP has like a... The, the cops did more marketing for PCP than, like, dampening the enthusiasm for it. First, they called that shit angel dust. They should have called it, like, dookie dust or something like that, because angel dust makes it sound like it goes pretty hard. It makes it sound like it's a pretty good time. Then, in our, uh, in our anti-drug classroom in the sixth grade... A police officer came in and told a story about how they got a call for like a domestic disturbance. And then when they got there, the dude was on PCP and they had to shoot him, which doesn't really make sense looking back. But they shot him like eight times and he was still like trying to attack them. So they really made it seem like it basically turned you into like a superhero who was bulletproof. It wasn't there. We, our program was called Race Against Drugs, and it was a bizarre melange of um, motorsports iconography and anti-drug information. I wouldn't call it, like, propaganda. A lot of the stuff that they said was true. Hold. 
Hold, hold, hold. Help! Help! It's got some speed on it. I mean, like, there should be uh, a war on, like, some of the drugs, for sure, man. Yo, Ravs, thank you for the raid. We're talking about the war on drugs. I was saying that the war on drugs gets a bad rap. Like, I know there's been negativity, but, like, we need to send some soldiers out there to deal with the crocodile problem. Like, that's a drug that we need to fight a war against. I don't think they needed to, like, spend so much money and blood fighting, like, weed. That one has been legal here for, like, 10 years, and it seems like there's been basically negligible negative consequences as a result. But crocodile, they def they gotta they gotta start locking in on the crocodile, man. Help! What's crocodile? I don't. It's the one that like when you take it, you get holes in your arm. Also known as <laughs> Ice-T voice, yeah. It's the most devastating drug that's ever been released. Kids on the street are calling it unicorn powder. It raises your IQ by 40 points. We have to stop it. They call it God juice. <laughs> Never take it. <laughs> oh, man. Promise me, when you grow up, you'll never take God juice. <laughs> they call it angel cum. It's the worst drug on the planet. What about Jankum? Jankum is not real, man. And it's the same way of not real that like niche fetishes are. It's real, but it's not, it's, it's such a negligible proportion of the population interacting with it that it's not real. Yeah, thank you. It's like five guys. That's not real. It's like whenever people go, oh, fucking stapling your cock to your leg is a fetish. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not a fetish. That's Steve-O. That's one dude. It's a real thing. NL's so innocent. NL's so innocent. No, I just have like an understanding of like the human population size. One dude who can only come when he like traps his, the head of his penis in a three ring binder and closes it is not a fetish. That's trauma. Now, if like a hundred thousand people start, you know, if it starts to show up in like HBO's shows and shit like that, that's a different story. Hold, 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 hold. You guys see that Caitlin Clark interview? Where he made a heart with his hands. And then she said, that's what I do to my family after every game. And then the reporter said, if you do it with me, then we're going to get along just fine. Or something like that. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's I didn't do it. It's just the the intrusive thoughts took over, man. <laughs> the voices won that battle. Oh, dude, he did an apology column. Well, he should, but like, it's just the spirits won that one, man. That was it was paywalled. I, that's still less insane than the British columnist who wrote the article about how the professor speaking at school made him so horny that he had to go have sex with a prostitute. Like, that is mental, ins like, criminal insanity. That Why would you... Doing it is bad enough, but then writing about it? 
That was one where I was like, what are you doing, man? Anyway. You see the tweet about babies have advanced stats now? That, one, that was kind of a lighthearted Twitter one. Someone was like, I'm pretty sure I have the best baby. And then they post their babies like sleep analytics. No, we don't lock in. We just send it. We just, we gotta, we gotta get it started though. System baby, to be honest. It's true. If you put that baby in another house, I don't think they're getting the same stats. Honestly, it all comes down to the nursery, you know, the conditions, the relative humidity. Catch and release. Catch and release. No, my baby is not a system baby. But she's also... Her, her fucking waz above replacement in the nighttime is real high right now. She's... Honestly, if, if she was getting recruited to like a... You know, a college sleeping team, she would be like a two-star recruit right now. Probably just on legacy, just on like last name. Otherwise, she'd be unrecruited. She'd, she'd have to red shirt at like a fucking Ivy League or something like that. It wouldn't be good. He's waking up every four hours a night, but I still think he's on the easier side. Well, yeah, and he's like, what, like three months old? Something like that? That's, that's pretty reasonable, I would say. Last night was like the best I've slept in probably like two weeks. She went to bed at like 9.30, fell asleep at like 10.15, which is when I went to bed. And then I woke up at 11 to her like screaming and crying on the floor like she was so upset and like Kate came out and was like what's going on and I was like I don't know she just started crying and then we eventually after like 15 minutes surmised that like uh she had a bad dream and then Kate was like was it about mommy and then our daughter nodded her head and I was like yeah <laughs> then I kind of like stood uh, stood around and supervised for like five minutes with like two IQ because I had just been awakened from 21 minutes of restful sleep and then I was like they got it and I went to bed you don't need me to just stand here and, and watch you do it I'm sure you're going to be and a lot of times she says daddy and then I'm like you know you don't need to be here there's no reason we both got to sack the body you know You got to trade off. It's the way of the world. I've started getting more sexual dreams recently. You didn't need to type that. There's no need to type that. We don't need to know that. Nobody really needs to. You should just enjoy it, honestly. Nobody needs to know it. The intrusive thoughts one. Why not? Well, like, I mean, I just feel like it's like most dream stuff. Like, nobody's going to care it too much. Bro, I went out for dinner, walked my dog, and you're in the exact same place. Guess what? You went out for dinner, walked your dog, you're in the same exact place. <laughs> Talk about the pot calling the kettle black, motherfucker. Mm. 
Isn't that the same? Hold, 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 hold. Who eats dinner at 11.50 a.m.? Night shift motherfuckers when everybody starts talking about acceptable dinner times. Nobody ever remembers the night shift, guys. Saw it yesterday. We were all talking about, like, what's an acceptable wake-up time? Fucking sad sack shit in chat. Nobody remembers the night shift, guys. We remember you! It's just like the people with normal schedules are talking right now, okay? We have to... This one's dedicated to the night shift, guys. Oh, they hate nurses. We fucking don't hate nurses. We're just idiots talking about our own experience. I don't know who the fuck you are, man. I think working the night shift would suck ass. You have my respect for that. But I'm not like, not every single sentence is going to end with like, unless you work the night shift. Like, we, you know, you're seen. You are valid. Hold, 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 push. Okay, next time. It's gonna hold. <clears throat> Eight minutes till Jackbox? Brother. <laughs> I thought I had like 20 minutes. I was laughing. I mean, Apollo and I, we have different... We're, I'm a little older than he is. I'm 35. He's been 27 for eight years. Um, and we have different lifestyles. I mean, kid changes your lifestyle for sure. But I was laughing yesterday when he said like... I'll even give streamers a pass for waking up at noon. And I was like, what are you talking about, man? Publicly, sure, you can wake up whenever you want. I don't know your schedule. Privately, if you're like, I woke up at noon today, I would be like, you're fucking cooked, man. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to wake up the same time as me, and there's lots of people that wake up earlier than me, but I got seven hours and 15 minutes on you. I've lived half my fucking day by the time you woke up. You're cooked, man. I'll, if, if you're a streamer, I'll give you 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is normie sleeping. The maximum normie sleeping. I don't know any motherfuckers my age that I like speak to that are like, I woke up at noon yesterday. I would, I would be like, really? What if you're hungover? I talk to these daycare dads. Sometimes they'll be like, oh, I had a little too much to drink last night. I woke up at 8.15. That's like a, a decadent sleep. 10 is like, like if I woke up at 10, even on a weekend, I would be like, I fucked up. Like my day's over. I get that you're also going to bed later, but like it would, it would fuck up. It might even fuck up like two days. But noon is crazy, man. Four is insane. Like, when, he's definitely, he's 100% right when he's saying there, some streamers are still waking up at 4 p.m. That's crazy. Wee. What about normie bedtime? I'm going to go nuts on the table. The most normie bedtime is 11 p.m. 11 p.m. lights out sleep. I 
try to go to bed around 10, 15, because I, I like to sleep and also my sleep gets interrupted a lot. So if I have like a little extra cushion so I can still get like six and a half, seven, seven and a half hours, that's nice. But I feel like the normie bedtime window is 9.30 to 12. If you go to bed at 9.15, I'm like, that's, that's almost a little too early for me. 12 is too late for me, but I do think it's within the realm of normalcy. And normal wake up. You okay, buddy? <laughs> normal wake up. Five to, on a, on a weekday. Five to 7.30. Six to eight? Okay, I'll settle for six to eight. Hold, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Five is insane. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it. So, like, obviously, I'm biased. But, like, five seems normal to me. Oh, I know. I get up at five forty-five, so I'm I'm taking a little luxurious sleep. If you're up before the sun, it's too early. No, man, you got to be up to perceive the sun coming up. I'm actually getting pissed that like we got so much more daylight because now. When I hop on the Peloton, the sun's already peeking through. I don't feel like as much of a fucking gangster. Like, as I'm pedaling, I can see the sun starting to peek through the window. And I'm like, what the hell, bro? I missed the whole winter of, like, first 40 minutes are, like, pure darkness. Okay, go to hell. Go to hell. I mean, we gotta, we gotta stop. Like, literally, we have to get ready for Jackbox. I'm gonna freeze it right here. It's going to be a horrible thing to come back to. I'm going to be like mid-collapse when I come back, but... Okay, slash marker me. <laughs> Sisyphus. I got three minutes. I'll be back in three minutes. See ya.
last night I spent a long amount of the night reading about people like internally decapitating themselves. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like there was a uh, cutting their head off from the inside, inside, but they had like really developed neck muscles that it like didn't kill them. What getting what? choked to death? They they decapitated themselves and lived from the well, inside and yeah. didn't die. Yes. And apparently <laughs> like it's uh, it happens, it's rare, but it happens if you get like immediate treatment and people don't like move you, <laughs> you know. I don't think that's what decapitate means. Just, it means no, the head it comes a, off. <laughs> internal decapitation is your uh, your spine like snaps. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and you, and oh. you should die. But some people don't. Like a broken neck basically. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, clickbait much? <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, uh, we we were neck and neck for a while on this on this boulder game. I'm I'm mad at you. I'm like, uh, I'm like six sections ahead of you. I just got to acknowledge this. I uh, spent three hours getting to the exact same part I started at. Can I can I give you a small tip? Yes. Are you are you walking when you get to that bridge? Like, do you turn off sprint? It's a very good idea. He's walking <laughs> hard. You have to. <laughs> the or thing is crazy. Sideways. The the first time I got to the bridge on Tuesday, I just walked across it. First, like no really? no cell at all, and then That's I spent crazy. three hours trying to do it again today. Mm. You know, if you just if you just walk across that thing, it's uh, it becomes kind of trivial <laughs> oh man yeah yeah greetings gamers. Right. Oh. Gamers. Greetings. Greetings. Gamers. if you hit main menu does it like save your progress or you just have to alt tab this shit i left the rock in a stable spot on tuesday Cl- main menu'd close the game and it was there when i came back there is a continue function Ooh. okay because I don't think you want to keep it open because I, I do believe that it is mining cryptocurrency. Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. All right, so I'm going to hit main menu. You fucked me. I swear to you, really... I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I, I, I see the continue. I see. Man, that would be so funny. All right, hit exit. That would have been really funny, though, if you owned me. I wouldn't have even been pissed. You would have been a little pissed. I yeah. really don't think. I think I would have laughed really hard. <laughs> So I'm going to load up the Jackbox Party Pack 10 first. Ooh, load it up. I felt like the, 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 the brain game went pretty well. Maybe we were off on some of the other ones, too. Yeah, we'll give them a little peek. Give it a peek. While you're loading that up, can I say that my plus just went live exactly like three minutes Ooh, ago? Yay! Can you drop a link in Discord? Sure. That I will then go drop into my chat. Oh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get that shit too. I would love to sell lots of them and become wealthy. That'd be sick. Now, Mister Add the Cart colorway uh, dumb Dude, Apollo. Can I type something here in the <laughs> sure. Discord? You don't you don't have to respond to it in the call. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I was going to do a plus. This is like stressing me out the way he's like. He's like <laughs> I what know. Are you going to be like, hey, did you know that? Oh, I did not see that. No. Here, look, give me a second. Oh, no. What, what? Do you enjoy making me sad? No, 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 because I, I, if I enjoyed making you sad, I would have brought this up on, on the call. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I feel like I'd just rather not know, you know? <laughs> I was going to do a plot. Like <laughs> Holy. Oh, oh my. Yeah. <laughs> Don't respond. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that I'm very brave because I did it while streaming. Did what while streaming? I just, I just ordered it. Oh, it's being processed. The, the <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry, there the way. Uh, this is the tweet right after that. 
<laughs> I swear it. You can go check it for yourself. That is amazing. That is that's genuinely best, incredible. That's the best way to respond. Oh, legit. man. That's well, like my, the only way to respond. My order is confirmed. I've done it. Oh, dude. I was gonna do a plushie a few years ago. And that is that is an insane <laughs> combination for them to <laughs> put out. Corey said, "Fuck your story, Mouth." You really did. Sorry, <laughs> <My> sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. It's like the fifth time I tried to tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> I basically, years ago, I was gonna do a plushie, but then the artist that like did the you guys know the little like the red fox emote I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, they just bailed, so like I can't. For fear of like, they might be like, they the I'm the artist that came up with that. That's copyright. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I can't use it without their permission. But they just like ghosted Don't exist. me forever, which is ah. really unfortunate. So it's like, would have been nice. Anyways, you know, congrats Apollo. It's very nice. I hope it sells no less than 3.14 million units. Holy oh, that would, That'd be pretty sick. That'd, yeah, that'd be million. cool. <laughs> does it, does this one it. have a password? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I cherish oh, okay. my uh, my framed old bat. I got I gotta get a freaking old bat. I don't even have an old bat, man. <laughs> yeah, I got one up there. <laughs> it is it is nice. I have a nice that. So below the old bat, you can't really see it because there's a million fucking plushies there. But I got bear taffy there too. Mm. I got my laffy taffy. I got everyone's hanging out back there. It's great. If they had a Funko Pop of just me. Would you get it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's make it happen, boys. I could do so many <laughs> weird things with it. Ooh. I would absolutely do that. I made it in. Yes, you did. Tap to make a face. Wait, so what is this one? Oh, this is oh, like that. Oh, that looks like a cock and balls. Hold on, I gotta get it back. Oh, wait. I have to actually join. Oh hey. man, yeah, that's, yeah, quite yeah, a, yeah. that's quite a that's quite a mouth I got on that one. Where's the? Oh, that's the path. Okay. What? I'm almost. I'm on my way. So I'm this is the one need... where you on my way. are typing just... a thing, and then someone else gets to like type while you're typing and like fuck it up. Yeah. Yes. The first time we played it, I found it extremely uh, irritating. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that's just because I didn't like people deleting my stuff. <laughs> maybe that's the game. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just still going through faces. That's fine. You're, you're the, you're the leader on, whenever you wish. I've settled on breasts. Okay. Me when uh, my therapist <laughs> asked me to name the most erotic part of a woman's body. Uh-huh. I don't know what kind of therapy you're going to, but okay. Uh, nut therapy. <laughs> just... <clears throat> I've settled on breasts. Me at the poultry aisle of the I'm grocery so store. <laughs> oh, there you go. I have way too many people texting me. I'm gonna listen to this explanation. Sure. I never seen that. You're gonna help me. First, let's teach you how to type on my little machine here. I'm gonna pair you up with a text conversation. Then you're gonna get me out of it. No. Be spicy, be wild, just do everything you can to make sure these folks never ever talk to me again, ever. I'll have you jump into a text box to start typing, but guess what? Groups of you will be working what? on the exact oh. same text at the same time. Why? Holy. Chaos. Oh, Chaos. Uh, backspace is broken. Also, deleting is broken. Also, everything you type will stay the same forever. But other than that, it works great. When you're finished, your pals will vote on the words they like, then we'll swap. Try to get a big reaction. The <laughs> loudest, weirdest, wildest player wins. You get all that? Well, we're starting anyway. You get all that, Ryan? What conversations are we getting into I wasn't today? paying <laughs> tell you that much. Sorry, I fell asleep. <laughs> I'm at a huge disadvantage because I type what slow. Kind of shit do you want to chat? Uh, sure. <laughs> I said yeah, that. I said that. I said that. She probably said shit. Like chit chat. You yeah, which chit you want to chat? That makes sense. Uh -huh. You guys didn't pick serious Let's business. No. <laughs> oh I'm god. This like oh no, Ryan's frame rate. <laughs> Ryan's oh no. Maybe. And uh, I'm gonna pretend this is quick flash. Group one, 
Let's craft a response. I'll start you off with this. Oh, okay. Excuse me? Uh. During the countdown, you'll have a few <laughs> seconds to place your cursor. Choose wisely. Are we supposed to collaborate here? The other no, team is right. each other Four, and just. Three, two, one. What? <laughs> you supposed to type? None of you are typing. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a little <laughs> bitch, little piece of shit. Oh my god. All out of jokes. Try a free suggestion on your device. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh Jesus my god. <laughs> this is stupid, right? <laughs> Back and forth. Forever, forever year. Forever year. <laughs> I clicked the tap me button. Oh. Okay, I don't think they'll be texting us again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Nelson. Ooh. It told me I'm out of characters. <laughs> <laughs> well you done, have <laughs> I'm on my phone, man. <laughs> Jay, less than three hundred. I'm your bitch, a little piece of shit. I am going to this one guzzle. He's reading it. Anyway, I'm going to shoot why you wife a gun if you ever text me. Why you have RJNP? So true. So true. What's your personality types? I'm RJNP. Wow, mm -hmm. oh, I'm RJD too. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> To look at your device now. You do do? To select a few words as your favorites. Mm. What? <laughs> My favorite You're words. You're gonna select your favorite words. My favorite words. Select any any words. jumping out of you right now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. With huh? Not Guzzle? With. I thought Guzzle would go. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I bet that got a reaction. Nelson likes. Oh, no. <laughs> Nelson's a damn freak. Kaki yeah. want boing boing. Start with. Can't get rid of Nelson. <laughs> what the fuck did you just <laughs> say? You don't know Kaki want boing boing? I do not. Uh, we were in teams? Five. Apparently. Yeah. Four. Oh, okay. Three. Oh, God. Oh, I was typing already. Uh. Oh, you can't backspace, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, there's no backspace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try one of the suggestions on your device. That's small, bad for me. I type a lot. Please. These you are like the texts I used to get from my mom when she used speech to text. Excuse me? She was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> What was she doing with her hands? I don't know, probably driving, if I had to guess. <laughs> what happens if I hit tap me? You get a theme to type as. Oh. Fucking with Corey's words. <laughs> new, new do poem. it, do it, do it. <laughs> That's good. Quam. <laughs> Quam. Quam. I think I'm gonna better oh, call yeah. Saul and Saul the, the Oli. BC, uh, I'm ready to shoot. Not that way, thought. Like with a James Gunn, Newt Newt Hume. Yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. Newt Newt Hume. What a wonderful mess. Time for the rest of you to pick your favorite words. Start now. Hmm, but there's so much to choose from. Right? <laughs> Did I steal all of Corey's words by typing over oh, them? Oh, fuck. I hadn't considered that shit. He's gaming in this thing that's kind of a game. Double tap to boost your vote. You double tap to boost your vote. Bow. Drink Let's verification see, can to get an extra ballot. Words. Yep. Oh, so I mean, did all of the words. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, co-author it said. Newt, newt, qualm. <laughs> oh yes, yo, you. Oh. Real friends write on the same words. Gaming. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing, but maybe. A this is a better. strange game. It's a very weird yeah. game. Pixie text. How do I win? 
I don't, you know? Do whatever. <laughs> don't, don't do what you're doing now. <laughs> Apparently, type over each other's words. They did not like back and forth forever. But what man. if I just didn't vote for your words? Like, well, that's just true. Play the game, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just, you know. What if I just don't vote for anyone's quiplash answer? Oh, man. I agree. I agree. Why are we still on Nelson? Can yeah, we get Nelson, some new props? I'm for it. <laughs> Fix it, please. What? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put the old word in. I have a frisky flamingo. Mm. And a gun. Time starts now. Get fixy. Good luck, guys. Mm. Why can't I tell? What the heck? I don't have a keyboard. Oh, it starts oh, in three God. seconds. Oh, God. Holy oh, crap. Huh? <laughs> yep. Feels like you're working uh -huh. for something here. Ready to boom all our knees? <laughs> Ryan. He's <laughs> taking all the words. Ready to boom all over knees. <laughs> <laughs> knees is nuts. Come boom. <laughs> Ready to come boom. Uh, or what have you? <laughs> Actually, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait. Maybe, maybe the game's good. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew one butt could make it so much better? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's the God best damn. part. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, strokey and shooty wherever. <laughs> I really like Bonzer. Bonzer. <laughs> Oh, that butt deserves a times two. That was a legendary. Oh, man. Pick faster. I only have most of all of Oh, I can only choose that many words. Let's okay. Let's see which litter clubs we all like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. That word was a great effort. That's it? <laughs> what the fuck? They put out a hit on him. <laughs> Some nice uh, Ryan's playing the game. Here. Right, right, right. Ryan, Ryan wrote all those words. Justin was the one who added the E. Yeah. The bonzer. Bonzer, strokey, <laughs> shooty. Bonzer. All right, fine. I'll, you want nasty? I'll show you nasty. You can regret this. <laughs> <laughs> Just go write the nastiest shit of all Nelson time. This shit. This is all Nelson ain't got a type. He's into bad bitches. I already know what I want to do. Starts now. This is not funny, but it's really funny to me. <laughs> wait, why wasn't I typing? You gotta wait for the countdown. You gotta wait for the countdown. Oh, my bad, my bad. Green's <laughs> <laughs> <Grease> plan. <laughs> I fucked it up already. I put two E's. <laughs> All out of jokes? Try a free suggestion on your device. <laughs> Oh, I, I forgot there's no backspace. This has to be the craziest game to play with your coworkers at Jackbox Night. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. I'm going to go to the store and buy some bananas. <laughs> You're supposed to repulse Nelson. Uh, too, too late. We've already been horned up by him. Whoops. Well, you're not gonna be a lot of time, huh? No. I can't find Greg Plant Palm emoji, but yeah, because I thought I can't wait to get <laughs> he cheese did say Greg you plant. don't. Hey, Nelson, wanna be the potato tomato to my mozzarella? The potato tomato. <laughs> Gre Greg Plant. Shit look like a damn now Hawaiian volcano. Oh my god. Make a decision. The stakes are medium high. Zero. How communicative. <laughs> Let's check out the points. I don't know if it leaves a lot to discuss between the rounds, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, really? All of those? I'm very hungry right now. <laughs> Do you want some Greg plant? <laughs> yeah. Extra points for co-authoring. That's right. I didn't write eggplant. One That's right. Shut down. One contact deeply confused. Let's keep going. That was just one round. That scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, first, first of twenty rounds. It's oh, no, they... no, 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 no. <laughs> they give us the Nelson again. I swear to God. Back to it. I think we're gonna be talking to Nelson. Again. No, I think we're fucking with Nelson. Let's put a nail in this coffin. Oh, what a your, your PC thing? cannot handle these. Cuts. What are you, do, dude? It looks great on my screen. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Did he just refer to himself in the third person? Nelson's feeling like a crack drug plant. <laughs> Don't think, just text. Go! So ready. <laughs> Remember, you're friends oh with me, God. not Jesus with Christ. each other. <laughs> <laughs> Justin knows just let the ads to words to make them better. <laughs> the words better. Bootsy Sniffins is really good. <laughs> Beefo! Beefo <laughs> for me, ma. Fuck you, TBH. This is not my name. Hey, put my name in there, what the heck? Mof for me, ma. Maybe a little putsy sniffins if you can handle my spawn beef o slish is alfo Damn. <laughs> That's a That's good one. Magnificent effort. Scorn beef o <laughs> Putsy sniffins sounds like a. <laughs> that was really good. I didn't That's do ridiculous. it. It's like an old time gangster movie. I did the poot sniffin and then I guess Justin. <laughs> Heck, time is winding Rest. down. I can't wait. Let's see those points. Justin's going to the moon here. Oh yeah. Some nice co-writing here. Stephen's Beepo. That word was a wow. Oh, mouth. I needed those points. There. She kind of sounds like a like a Star Wars dude talking. Meet more. Right on the Maybe way. a little pootsy sniffing, so if you can handle my scorned <laughs> beefo slices over Rizzo. Solo. Mm. You love shit <laughs> Oh, shit up. Greek plant parmesan more for me, my Skywalker. <laughs> what the Ooh. fuck? <laughs> what is this? Uh, uh, like in the rap battle game? Hell yeah. <laughs> on your mark, get set. What's the fix? <laughs> right? <laughs> Get out of here, Corey. You should be able to shoot a missile at the other person to lock their keyboard for 10 seconds. Yes. Or like fix words like they can't change the mm. word. More madness. Keep at it. Ah. Jiro. Jiro. Oh, he caps everything. Oh, my, oh, what's no inside? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. You should be Y maxing. <laughs> oh. Learned. Anytime. I learned it all from Flack Blag, who is a great down on the kiss and Nelson. We don't have much time. Check under your chair. There should be a key. 
Look me under the painting in the living room and unlock the safey. What's inside the <laughs> 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 Oh. I have oh, this one's the, fucked, the, man. Feelings about <laughs> this. Time to make your final selection. <laughs> it's such a strange concept this game, for a game, like. This game pisses me off because I have to backspace it's like one out of every 20 like characters when I'm typing. Yes, I no, I'm, like, I guess I I'm in the same. I just can't. You guys like the unlock you safety? Mm -hmm. Unlock you safety. This is my exact voting. Holy. Glurm. <laughs> 3x unlock 4x safety. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, I don't want cheap viewers. Is it over? I think so. I hope so. Uh, I only learned how to one. play in the last round. I need more time. Wow! Oh my god. I'll be sending you my phone bill. Parm back <laughs> forever. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Holy. I feel like it's just, it's missing something, and I don't know what. I feel like it's not bad. It's it not. Nice if it had more topics. It sucks that it's one topic for two yeah. rounds or three yeah. rounds. Little time jinx. Time jinx is good. Time I jinx, don't remember what time jinx is. is, I think it's like trivia, but you only answer in numbers. Huh. Now, if this, you can count this as one wheel if you want. No, I mean, I have honor. Okay. He does know I'm not a trivia fan, but it's okay. Ooh, who do I want to be? You were on reach for the top back in the day. Don't get down on yourself. I'm this guy. Yeah, and I got like one answer right. It could be worse. You could have been only, our mutual think... friend who uh, they asked him a question. Four hockey players. Maurice Richard, Ow! Bernie Boom Boom, Jeffrey on, Jean Beliveau, <laughs> Saku Koivu. What NHL team did they play for? Bro said Chicago Blackhawks. I'll never forget it as long as I live. Is this the same code? Same password. Or password. Yeah. Different code. Boom boom into the room. <laughs> you may launch the game. Yo, mouth. Yo. Nice what? avatar. Thank you. I think you can skip. Earlier. I think you can skip. Yeah. Yeah. What is, all right. I'll hit skip. No tutorial. I trust you. Yeah, right. yeah, we don't need it. Oh. I trust you. Jinx. You know, we almost called this the dating game, but they sent us a cease and desist. Okay, we are I think it's most of the questions are like years. You put in a year. Mm -hmm. It's time for your first mission. You can't see it, but I'm doing air quotes. Here's a hint. It happened huh. between these years. What? Punch in the yeah, okay. that seems right oh. to me. That seems right to me. Uh, fuck. Fuck. Mm. Go here. Oh hey, I don't remember. You can join the audience no idea. By entering the room code. Mm. It was at the end of World uh, War One, right? Check out <laughs> That's yeah. what I was thinking. Oh, <laughs> Hey, Corey. Jinx. Jinx. Yay! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we signed an agreement in 2015? What the fuck? Well, a bunch of countries did. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Something. May not have been it's, it's true. Oh, 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 I ain't got a damn clue, man. You know, I'm going with my heart here. Me too. I ain't got a damn clue, man. I'm just gonna say I went early. Early. I didn't, I didn't go that early. Yeah, I didn't go I very early no. either. Because all their the branding game. for it is like from the 70s. Is Mouth! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Get out of my head, Charles. Oh! oh I'm fucking dumpstered, man. <laughs> Yeah, I had no idea. I had my first McRib like a month ago. Oh, how are you supposed to know this? 
Connect four. This has huge post war vibes. Yeah, I don't think they were playing Connect Four in like the Great Depression. Well, it's made they were of plastic, trying to right? con connect fork. <laughs> this, <is not laughs> this is a very tragic time in world history. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> wow! Oh, 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 dude, he's so <laughs> back. Cheated. I'm back in a big way. That shit didn't come out. It took till 1974 to invent Connect Four. That's insane. They had put a man on the moon five years ago. No, they were still because the number and the name of the game. They were still working with with tic tac toe back then. They were fine. Holy man! Yeah, they were living on threes, not fours. <laughs> oh, but then we need a Connect Five now. Hey, I'm Skillet. Want to see the bodyguard? Ooh. Psst. Respond with the answer that shows you belong. How insane that I'm gonna know this. this. Is what they wanted to hear. I don't think it's out insane. And the audience oh, it is, I, it is for me who doesn't watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your butts. We're Tina going to the next decade. In the, oh, the that, that is. Really, <laughs> that <laughs> is. <laughs> so out of the loop. Who's the new chief justice? Oh. I'm your private dancer. That's uh, definitely not that one. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a 50-50. Oh, uh, 50-50. Canadians, Canadians stay winning. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm a cheater. I'm going to attempt that Tom Cruise slide. Yeah. Okay. What the heck? Oh, it's risky business, bro. Okay. You should know that. I always get them mixed up. Oh, wait. Risky business is like the high school. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see who's winning with the lowest score. This is a, I think this is a good game so far, I'll say. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Wait, my score, my number is the highest I'm winning, right? Mm. This is anti swag. This is your cringe count. You gotta get your cringe down. Moving on. Oh man. Oh, I don't fuck. know, dude. I'm glad to give you the fran. I would have guessed like 1942 or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the Southwest Airlines Spitfires in the Battle of Britain. <laughs> dude, <I'm kinda> <laughs> Wow! Oh, wow! I knew I knew it was seventies. That much I knew. They do have the seventies really? color scheme. Like new. You know, Southwest. You know, it just got a very seventies vibe to it. You know. Which mo which it's freaky motherfucker like was doing this? You know what? I bet it was this guy. Again, I'm glad they give me. I would have said like 1892 or something. <laughs> 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 I just. I think I went too low. Nah, you gotta think World World War Two era. Really? Oh! I think it was like Carter. Wow. Wow. Ryan, frick off. I Peter. had a feeling that seemed like some goofy shit John F. Kennedy's ass would do. Who Blasted out of a cannon. You don't, don't you don't know Hunter you don't know who Hunter S. Thompson is? and Loathing in Las Vegas? No, I don't know who this is. Damn. What fuck year was that, man? The crazy thing is, he was alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he turned into ashes at the same time. He was a big smoker. I jinx one more motherfucking time. You do jinx a lot. Hey. Oh, that was what? Apparently, you don't need to fucking know it to get it right. Apparently. I thought he died like six years ago. You'll see the same pair of questions. Bro, that was, that was in 2000. <laughs> that was 19 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Your score will be reduced for every correct answer. Knock him dead, but but don't kill anyone. And yes, the time loop occurs in an old fridge I rigged up. It makes sense. Trust me. Look, I'm what losing. What time in this game? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
How would I know, man? <laughs> Too many of these numbers are even, so I picked the weird one. Huh? Fuck it, they go low, we go high. Uh, Bam, time loop. You can stay with your first choice or jump ship to another. This is Here's a neat trivia game. game. I don't mind this one. <laughs> what? Why is it highlighting that one? Yeah, I didn't pick that. Uh, <laughs> is it fucking my, my answer? Bro, they're hitting us with the Monty Hall problem or something. Oh, you ah. didn't get it. Okay. I was right both times. Is it 235? Yeah. Oh. Everybody got this one wrong? Oh, so I should have changed my answer. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck! Oh. No one gets 10 the first time? I doubled down. I guess 20. I doubled it. Yeah. Yeah. So they only do the thing one time? They only time? go through one time. Yeah, that's the th I thought they went through twice. That's fucking crazy. Wait, why did it happen to X? I didn't, get I didn't get anything wrong. Oh, I got the first. That's wrong. Oh, never mind. I see. Scores? Sure. Let's see him. Well, you guys really gotta get your cringe down. Beat me to death with hammers, I guess. Welcome to the third round. <laughs> Quick heads up: if you're not doing so hot, you'll be receiving some hints from your future hey. self. Why doesn't that's kind of bullshit for Apollo though? He's only two off. Well, that's between <laughs> you two. Well, maybe be more cringe. I'm too cringe right now. Oh, yeah. Punch themselves. Spawns Vegemite? Oh, that does not help me, man. This doesn't help me at all, bro. It doesn't help me at all, dude. What did it say? This shit from, like, the byproduct of, like, molasses or something? No, it just told me something else that happened around the same time. I don't know when the fuck that happened either. The the bee's knees. I don't want to help you. Oh, mine said the cat's meow. Oh fuck, I think I'm a little post oh, bees knees. <laughs> I, I guess what I thought was cat's meow. Me and Corey, cat's meow bees <laughs> twenties. We got this. Fucking me and Malfa in the twenties too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Earlier twenties. Yeah. 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 Let's keep Didn't have that yet, Mal or Ryan. Chewing. I Brother. Oh. I we obviously the second to last digit is four, you fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the hint. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be one off because I'm stupid, aren't I? I don't remember this exactly <laughs> either. I should know this because I did a presentation on like No, never mind. <laughs> did you storm did you storm the beach? Yeah, <laughs> did I you was... reenact it? Are you gonna score? I like baited myself out of the, the oh, I was already answer, in. I think. I thought I was in. Yeah, why did I do 43? I don't it's 44. Yeah, I should have done 44. Yeah. Ah, uh, is it though, Ryan? I got battlefield. It's definitely 44 or 43. <laughs> I didn't know which one. I got yeah. battlefielded hard. I do battlefield Cause... myself with that question sometimes. <laughs> Here's the next one. Oh, okay. Wait, the... that is so helpful. What did it say? Oh, I cleared the. I cleared the. <laughs> what did the hint say? It gave me the last digit. <laughs> what? So I'm either gonna get it right or be off by like ten, or more. Yes, ditto. I ditto. My guess. I either got it right or I'll be off by like ten or twenty. Son of a bitch. The last digit was a three. I think you're right mm -hmm. then. I think you're right. Yeah. 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 Oh, let's go. <clears throat> My swag! Oh my god! <laughs> Turn Ryan down, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The popcorn lung is giving you powers. Chair, it's been replaced with an eyesore. Based on the surroundings, where are we? Where's Rainbow? The famous oh, fuck. landmark is missing. Oh, is oh, I know what that is. Bro, <laughs> they're like so, so far apart from each other. This would be so embarrassing. Okay, okay. I'd laugh if they just move the heads and I'm like, this is the Alcatraz. It's the damn rock. Yeah. Yeah. Nicolas Cage escaped from yeah. it. Carla was the prom queen. It's time to fix the butterfly effect. 
Your actions have altered the course of history. <clears throat> Sorry. I history. have to peek and you hurry Let's up fix narration. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. Mal. Mm. Mal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's done it. I I played the <laughs> on on PlayStation too. That game. You played what like on the PlayStation? Who would do this, right? Uh, what's the game with the guy with the mullet? You blow stuff up. Mercenaries or mercenaries? mercenaries. Best commercial ever. Oh no, they didn't. Oh no, you didn't. Oh, he was a painter. I knew it. Famous for his beans. Oh. Well, we're going swag for swag, man. Yeah. Ooh. Well, Apollo's in first now? Holy shit. Cheater. The final Are task. Well, Give us like a 1,000 year range. Oh, you think that just helps you? The <laughs> <laughs> when was writing invented? No, no, dude. Like, when did uh, in the life of the universe when did oh. Pluto form? <laughs> this, oh, this hurts my brain. Yeah, Sam. I don't know why adding a little bit of math made it so much. Yeah, harder. yeah, no, I, I hear you. you. The future timeline gives out credit only. Oh, oh it's gonna come down to. Oh, we're gonna tie, aren't we? Oh, 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 oh no! TikTok's been out that long. <laughs> Oh, it's a percentage thing. No! Oh! Twitter came out in like 20... What? Look at participation medal? That was in four, right? Why'd everybody get that? Yeah, because everyone the best. was close, I guess. Everyone was in five. Sports oh, baby. I stand to gain the most from minus 40. <laughs> you say TikTok came out in 2004? Oh, Twitter came out in 2004. Oh. Or like 2005. It's crazy. I did it. I did it. Damn. Close one. Lee Cringe. Yeah, right. <laughs> Are we hiding screens? Because I gotta go get some quickly. Go ahead. Go ahead. Be right back, John. You have a good piss, y'all. <laughs> gotta go pick up his swag. I gotta get my cringe down. <laughs> That's okay. You're only one, one cringe more. I know, but it hurts. It hurts. There's something there's something off about the presentation. The game I, is fine. It wasn't terrible. I love TKO. I wish the setup I haven't seen TKO 2 yet, but I assume it has the same very long setup time. While mm -hmm. we're here, let's give it a try. I'd love that. Just take a while to load though. <laughs> if you notice that. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting I have to like they keep you on this page now. Yeah. It's still loading, huh? TKO. TKO too. Chibli! Chibli! Chibli. Good morning, Chib. Hey, bud. Hey. That little Good bug code. crawls into your room, but you sense he is a nice aura so you don't squash him. I'm that's me, bro. I'm the bug. Aw. You're my favorite bug. Saved the Saved the bug from a shower the last night. The last night, man. <laughs> Chip, Chip Nation. I don't know who Mouth this is, Nation. I'm surprised you didn't go one above that, Apollo. It's a cat, motherfucker. Oh, is that a cat? I guess it is a cat. Mm -hmm. We have five of us. We have six of uh, us, right? We have six, six. of us. Mm -hmm. Mouth is getting back Mouth's from the <laughs> the Pazone, as they call it. Actually, I wanted to get some potato chips. <laughs> Dude! Ooh, what kind? He's snacking. What kind of <laughs> I love those ones. They're just wavy, mm. man. Just wavy, plain. Yeah, but value size, so. Yeah. <laughs> just the... 
Welcome back to T-Shirt Island. I am the new tournament mistress. From Costco? My watch, the time of no, just the grocery store. It's just like the lace brand. Ooh. Mm. Hot Give take. No, hit it. <clears throat> Bags of chips at Costco are too big. What? Sounds, sounds like not a Costco guy thing to say. I would the prefer fruit, the same weight, but split into two bags so that it wasn't like one huge five kilogram bag. You can't contain yourself? Exactly. One of Eat the whole bag. Can we just throw a shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to draw a shirt? A shirt. Oh, oh. You're doing three drawings in total, so pace yourself. Three, huh? Mm hmm In a minute? Or do we have a minute each? I think... I don't know, honestly. Yeah, I think it's not a minute each. Let's put it that way. You're halfway through your time for your first draw. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and now what do I draw? I do a shirt. Do I draw another shirt? Oh, that's the background. Oh, it's the shirt color. Why are you guys seeing this shirt business? The picture you're drawing is going to be a it's, shirt. It's going to be on a shirt. <laughs> oh, I thought I was supposed to draw a picture of a shirt. <laughs> oh, my shirt God. with a shirt on it. That's going to that's gonna go so hard. That's going to go so hard. Fuck, I should draw Ten a shirt seconds, now. seconds, wrap it up. Bro, I'm on my third drawing, dude. I'm going Okay. If you haven't started your second drawing, All right, drawing number two time. Now. I suck ass at art, man. Same. One more drawing after this. It's hard doing this on my side monitor. So oh, I know what I want to do with this one. You're halfway through your time. Hmm. What are they saying in the background? Dude, the soundtrack goes crazy, though. Yeah. Quick flash is dead. Okay. haven't started your third drawing, the time has come. The time has what? <laughs> oh my God, he's so Take right. Time has come. Time has come. Have to make it happen. This is your last drawing. Don't hold back. You guys are still going? <laughs> yeah, I'm done taking my time three. on my last drawing to make it look cool. Oh my god. I'm just drawing guys. Now, if you worked in a corporate environment, you know how it goes. The time it takes to complete a task scales directly to the time given to complete the task. That's what they want you to think. You're halfway through your time. I'm writing that down in my notebook. <laughs> Are you guys tapping on airplane fucking, or? <laughs> I'm gonna make this fucking coke. I'm gonna make I closed the game. I'm back in. I was tapping on on coconut too hard, man. Dude, what did this progress bar is like? What's going? I'm tapping on it like crazy too. Who's getting the? I feel like I'm loading out. RuneScape in 2008, <laughs> bro. This shit's not moving. Ten seconds left. 
I'm doing the triple quick. We're not. Man. We're not getting. We're not. A, we're not achieving this at all. I'm hitting this check mark. Ooh. Me trying to download the Halo 2 E3 2003 <laughs> demo from fucking Napster.com. You, you had to be there. <laughs> and then that shit was a vertical slice. That map wasn't even in the game, bro. Had to be there. <laughs> yeah, the game crashed. Did we die? Oh, oh it just there took a second. It just took a it's second. Time to write some phrases and slogans. At oh, least yeah. four mm. from each of you. Start writing mm. now. So these are things that'll go with the pictures, but you just kind of write whatever you want. Nouns, verbs, the usual suspects. Mm. Need a quick idea? Slap that suggestion button. Start typing and see what happens. It keeps deleting my shit. Be aware, your time is Me too. Mm. I'm deleting my shit, some... man. Hey, yeah, yeah really you're not like it. submitting it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I think it's submitting it, right? Yeah, it just takes a minute. A bit of not be, bro. It is submitting it when you hit enter, yeah. No, but I'm halfway through typing something and this is it disappears. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, same. And then it goes ding. You wanted to make shirts? Now's your chance. Check out the drawings. I'm gonna make shits. On your device and smash two together. My to small intestine. That will dominate the battle. Oof, that's a good one for the now. intestine fans. <laughs> Remember to check out the different I don't get to use this how I drew to make oh, my shirt. Oh, that's the best shirt ever. I've already made the shirt. I didn't even need to look at the rest of them. Decisions. <laughs> Just the greatest shirt of all time instantly. Hmm. <clears throat> 30 seconds left. Okay. Did what I could. Did what I could. Yeah, me too. Who the fuck? Someone drew a triangle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got the shirt pyramid, on the shirt. That's a pyramid. Hmm? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, man. Hmm. If only these slogans were swapped. Where are the WMTs? Now is the time for calm. <laughs> His penis is the WMD. <laughs> Mine looked kind of like a cum shot. <laughs> oh, I voted for the WMD. I, 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 I didn't realize I was voting and I voted for the wrong one. Mm. Uh, me in 2016. Wow. <laughs> I should have lost to a cum. Yeah, I thought the other one was definitely gonna win. <laughs> you really did draw a triangle. It's really like it's a tetrahedron. It's a pyramid. It's a pyramid. It's a very skewed pyramid. Sorry. The one on the right goes pretty hard. Yeah. Not that hard, though. The other one is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna fault you for being given a triangle. Oh. You can rotate through. You can rotate through. You didn't yeah, have to well, a triangle. Dude, the f I drew the one on the right. It's the fucked up. But I drew this. <laughs> what the hell? I think you get points for it. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Bro, who drew Zoop? <laughs> that was also really good. It was me. <laughs> oh, that's sad, man. <laughs> Not the drawing, you having to call it out like that. I know, I know. <laughs> it's my drawing end slope. You know? Thought you were trying to get oh. your... Thought you were trying to get your cringe down, right? Dude, it's Zoop. What? Oh. What? what? Yeah, it's mine. Sorry, mine's just better. I drew Zoop! Good, I lost the Zoop, I know how Chibli feels. Yeah. 
I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, you know, do the flunky on him. The one on the right is the only. Have 20, Why'd that go so fast? Is the only shirt I would consider actually buying so far. Except for the Zoopla. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna be honest, I like the Zoo. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. The close one. The punch is a bit too violent. I don't really like it. I it's wish normalizing. Have so much violence in the yeah. It's normalizing yeah. physical. Yeah, this abuse. isn't this isn't okay. blue. Moment. Like I wouldn't want a child <laughs> playing this game with yeah. violence like that. I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. Unless it was their co-regulation mechanism, in which case I, I guess I would have to allow it. Drawing, but I'm giving you yeah. A choice. So true. You can start fresh like before. I might make a Change forum post. A drawing from earlier. Check just to warn other parents and, and stuff now. about the violence. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, we're going to change a drop. <laughs> or do a new drawing. <laughs> I, I like really just looking like at all the drawings. Yeah, it's cool to see every drawing. I, I feel like I was very elegant with this. The coconut's halfway. Okay, you've all made your choice. Now get busy. I'm gonna make that coconut fall, dude. I'm gonna make it fall too, bro. I'm gonna get collab. A okay, collab. Just it. there. The co it's collab. It's the same. It's the same one. Yeah, but who gets the, the last hit? Gets the gold. I'm, say, I'm hitting X and it, it, you're checking it's not sending it. Same. That was so unsatisfying. That's just, all that okay, was. Okay, the, okay, the plane. Dude, reset. Plane, plane. It reset, dude. We'll get to the plane next. Maybe it'll be Can better. you guys stop tapping what? for a second? I'm trying to send my drawing in. It's not submitting. You guys got eight six. Done. Dude, why is it going so fast now? I need you guys to stop tapping for a second. Fast fingers. Oh, oh are we lagging out the game? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Oh, look at him. Look at him. It's just, not uh, when you hit submit. Same. Yeah, well, everyone it's stop tapping. tapping. Stop tapping so everyone can I, submit. I don't think it's... <laughs> I don't think that's the problem. I tapped it like a hundred times and then eventually it worked. Oh, it went. It went. Were you, did you keep tapping, Malf, or did you just... No, I just stopped for like the last five seconds. No, yeah. Mine finally went too. Let's have four new slogans from each of you. Holy needy. Begin writing now. <laughs> four, they said, right? And the suggestion button's still there, mm -hmm. just in case. Hmm. Your time is halfway up. I'm in. Mouth zero slogans finish. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, it's a good one. Mouth. <laughs> they they, they, they took mine. Racing. Oh no, it's back. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> I definitely typed in three or four. Now, it says only two. The new drawings and slogans on your device and craft that my drawing garment. is so good it makes up for the lack mm. of slogans. It gave me my own image I drew. I don't love my drawings I got. Remember, Ditto? You control the garment and slogans. Wait, what? Make it I got two of the same drawing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what this even says. Toilet team? <laughs> you got toilet team too? No, could <laughs> could get good luck. <laughs> Something no. else. I got I got toilet team and toilet team, but it says piss season underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> Ten more seconds. 
seconds. Smell that in the air. I got my own drawing, which made me sad because I didn't feel good using it. And I'm thrilled with my my shirt selection. Let the tournament begin. Ah. Fight. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, wow. Um, huh. so I'm allowed back into the country. I'm picking the one on the other <laughs> side. How do I that's, keep losing? That's crazy. I'm so crazy. mad. This is crazy. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> if um, I. Oh, um, oh, I see. Oh, if yeah. I lose to my own shirt and quote, bro, I swear to God. I'm just noticing something, though. Y'all, I think we got a billion yep. votes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We got hack. I, I think you should still try the thing. That, uh, oh, I think I gotta go through my damn Authy, man. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's fair. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I How lose to my like own shirt and quote, dude. <laughs> That's all me! I, I gave that to you! <laughs> well, I mean, that's pretty good. Second one's giving me some questions, man. Was that I, would, I would buy the one on the right. <laughs> we got, we got the <laughs> damn <laughs> we got the damn buffer underflow, man. What's mm -hmm. going on? Minus 67 million votes. What is this, the 2020 election or something? What are they complaining about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 678 million. Mm. Oh, it doesn't even, it didn't do anything. It looks like it, yeah, it looks like it just chills after it. The poop took it. The poop took it. I don't think it's doing anything. That was, that oh, was you fast. Guys. <laughs> all right. Okay. What the fuck? Yeah, I think if we all vote quickly, it just... Oh. Well, I also think there's like something to like stop it in this pack, because they're not counting them. I'm like waiting to vote now. Yeah, yeah, we gotta let... I mean, like, there's... You if you're still in line, you they have to the let you vote. vote. Again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some close-ass really votes, about too. Now, eh? I voted yeah. old map. Where'd it come from? Ahoy. Mine feels like a shirt they definitely oh, sell it, like Hot Topic. <laughs> or Spencer Gifts or something. Holy. The, board, the boardwalk. On we go. This guy loves shit. Sometimes he gave me I didn't feel strong. right. I didn't feel he right drawing on somebody else's drawing. My I shirt wasn't even up there. Like, I, I, did, I, did they forget about me? Who takes it all. Do I come in the round two? Oh, yeah. And keep on voting until the power bar of your favorite choice Wait. is full. Wait, am I just. Did they kill me? <laughs> no, that's a good example. Go! It seems like an insane way to do this. <laughs> just everyone tapping <laughs> aggressively on their devices. It seems to be doing nothing. Some of us anyway. had rheumatoid arthritis, Jack. Keep tapping. I'm gonna make a forum post about this. Fucking Zoop is killing poop. Yeah, I'm changing I'm my I'm changing to, my I'm allegiance. To vote for poop. I'm going I'm going for poop. Like do I, I should give up? My team is losing. I could see so many dads wearing that shirt on the right. Right? Yeah, all you need is something on it that says Eddie Bauer. <laughs> your champion. Tell you got against Eddie Bauer. Wait, bro, the second round, I, my shirt wasn't even in the fucking thing at all, bro. That's how bad it was. What the fuck? This game is lost. You hold instead of tap. What the fuck? Wow, wow, wow. GG. Which one was your shirt, Jim? Zoop, Zoop crossed out the Z with an S, NYPD fundraiser. That was in there, man. That was in there. That was in there. Oh, my bad. I deleted the forum post. Oh, dude. It's right there. I'm scrolling down. It lost to Metallica World Tour 2024. I want to buy the wear the WMD shirt, though. I bought all of these and I'm gonna donate them to a charity shop. So like someone that's like, oh, I need affordable clothing is gonna have to buy Joe Rogan toilet team. This season, yeah. 
Oh, man. That is evil. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I'm not a piece of shit, guys. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. Yeah, but are you a bag of douche? <laughs> yeah. A <laughs> whole it. entire bag of douche. <laughs> you douche with a bag? Sorry, I'm on my screen. Dane mm -hmm. Cook arc. Suck a bag of dicks. Oh, you can't say oh, that. What kind of sandwich is that? Mm -hmm. Lovely, delicious sandwich. Close the screen. Y'all ready for? you ready for Christmas? Yeah. What? It's so crazy, Chibli, that you're like a month away from the shortest day of the year. What? Like your your winter solstice is approaching. Oh, winter is coming. What? I mean, it's the twenty first of J -J John June. Twenty first of June. At eight fifty a.m. Why does it got a time, bro? It's not. It is a whole day. <laughs> Anybody remember the password um, for this? I do. I do. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Y'all have to check up on me uh, on the twenty first of June. Y'all gotta make sure I'm okay. I'm gonna be gonna outside, go bro. It's the longest day of the year. Yeah, but if you were in the north, bro, it's nighttime for six months. Yeah, but like when it was December here, you were talking about like wearing shorts and like laughing and stuff. Don't Apollo, don't man. Um, what do you What do you mean? I know what you see. I know what you no, see I as don't. well. I don't. I, I don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I was laughing at something on a, on another monitor. <clears throat> what was it? Show me. No, it's private. I'm launching it. But dude, in the uh, Antarctic Circle, it's zero hours of darkness, six <laughs> months of a day. About that. Is there an Antarctic circle? The Probably. Yep. Yep. You can draw a circle down there. 65, 60, 66.5 degrees south, bro. Duh. I hope it gives me a lot today. If I win. Learning a lot right now. Axis of rotation. Axis. Uh, axi. Equator. Chibli, who's your favorite D&D uh, &D monster? Very well. Oh, the ghoul. <laughs> really? Great ghoul. Yeah. My party fought some ghouls that were hidden in barrels last time. Ooh. Oh, barrel uh, ghouls. Barrel Wait, you're, you're on some D&D &D shit? Yeah, I've been D&Ding. I've been DMing for getting close to two years now. Oh, nice. Baby's, baby's first <laughs> campaign. I don't even need to ask what character you are then, huh? I'm all of them. <laughs> he, he got the damn board yeah. in front of him and everything. The trifold. <laughs> I do. I knew it. <laughs> Chibli? Chibli question? Chibli question? Ryan is going to know this more than me, which is sad. Uh, well. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> I know two of them. I don't know. I also know two of them. I know one. I know none. Maybe it's just two of them. Girls Nation! <laughs> <laughs> okay, girls. I'm just um, gonna go I'm gonna... guesses. Yeah, I'm guessing. Oh, it's not gonna a be lot. okay, girls, because okay, girls is a play okay, on okay, go. It could be okay, girl. Oh, Does so... everything line up? Okay, Brown well, I thought girls is that I knew. Ryan? You guys are fucked. I lived in Korea, man! You're you said you knew two of them, bro. It's not a joke about the song Brown Eyed Girl. It's a reference. Girl's generation, that's it. Van Morrison is fucking crazy into K-pop, bro. <laughs> Have you heard him sing in Chinese, too? The dude is a polyglot. Justin? Okay. 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 Oh, does that, isn't does that count? The, the trick? Some answers are more tappable than others. Am I right? What? It's Harry Potter ass shit. I don't know half the shit, man. <laughs> it sounds like diseases. <laughs> what? The fuck? Uh, whatever, man. Give me in there. I the... think I got him right. No, I, I don't know. I just clicked one. 
have out some answers, baby. They didn't consider the deltoid, huh? Mr. Six. Like, Bro, Longissimus was <laughs> right. Yeah, I thought that was <laughs> fake as well. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> That was my nickname so in high school. Plenius Cervicus sounds made up as hell. But give us more K-pop questions. None of this lame shit, dude. I'm gonna give you a series of clues to help you answer this question. <laughs> what is a movie quote I love to repeat? Get busy. Uh, I mean, I have one movie quote. Even if it doesn't make sense. I'm Ant-Man. <laughs> we both typed we it, all Justin. Typed all three of us yeah. typed it. A sports movie. Also, oh, I don't know. I've never seen a sports movie in my life. Easy. Just an all-around great picture. Fuck. What? <laughs> Did they shout that in that movie? The quote is shouted near the dugout of a baseball field. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. What? It's delivered by Tom Hanks trying his darkest. I can't remember what he says. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, Bro, who um, just I, fucking went ham? Yeah. I know it's, it's a me. league of their own. But... I've, n I've never seen, heard of this Wait, was movie? I guessing no the clue. quote or the movie? I owned this on VHS. The quote, the quotes, oh, the okay. quotes. I fucking hate movie trivia, man. I hate it. It's a good one. You should see this one. Oh, that's right. I it's got some of your favorite so actors in it. Rosie O'Donnell, Great Madonna. <laughs> Crazy good piss humor in that movie. He, he does, does take a really does long, take piss. A long piss. In the dugout, yeah. long piss. Heavy piss. I would have got it if it was High School Musical. <laughs> We're all in this together. Together. Mm. 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 Oh, shit. Wait, you should show your kid the High School Musical trilogy. <laughs> it comes on when I tell Spotify to play Disney songs. That that song Ooh. coming on is my cue to restart the playlist because we've gone too deep. No! It's, uh, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reacting well, like I'm the one that was listening to it, and you <laughs> turned it off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop! I was listening no, to that. No, 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 no. Go off and shake your shit. You shit your, yeah, you yeah. shit your pants. <laughs> You're shitting your pants. I can smell the shit coming out of your ass. What are you talking about, man? Artist? No, 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 no. Ooh, oh, man. Oh, yeah, this is really good. This is you. All my slices on the two X. You ready, new spinner? All my slices. We're trying to be, we're trying to be just taking a shit and then I'm fucking flush the toilet. <laughs> oh, Ooh, absolutely me. disgusting. I'm okay with not getting these. It was it. It was me. Is this shit from Love Which, Island or something? Which one of you seen that shit? shit? I haven't seen it. Which one of you took shit? a shit in the toilet without flushing? <laughs> Disgusting. Sherloid. Which one of you is to sit in the toilet without flushing? It wasn't me. It was fucking one of us. No. Man. I can't believe you haven't seen that. I can't believe oh. you haven't seen either of them. I can't believe I own the whole fucking wheel and I didn't get spun, bro. Yeah, now I've got all, all the up. points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the captain now. Damn, yeah, you didn't get How shit, have you Ryan? not seen that, Ryan? I think I don't need to anymore. <laughs> well, it was <laughs> fucking one of us. It is really Ooh. funny. That's it. It's classic. The other one, I think, is a kid playing like Mafia or something. <laughs> or, like, I think GTA the Mafia is his overlaid something. footage, but it was um, yeah, it was a dude playing a game and he was pooping himself, and the mother was like, "You're shitting yourself! <laughs> I can smell the shit coming out of your ass." No, <laughs> no, no, mom, no. That was me, bro. Like I can't lie, that's some shit I would have done. Oh, Jim, do you have to poop? <sighs> All the time. <laughs> Papa's nightmare. I Papa's nightmare. Papa's nightmare. nightmare. Queen Gambit, Queen on your tail of joy, dude. Holy shit, bro! I think I nailed it. I ain't, I don't know a single one of these, but I think I nailed it. Me too, maybe. I I'm trying to. Papa's nightmare is real. I'd be I had so Boy Scout. funny if they. Sorry, Jim, go. I had Boy Scout. I tied a knot. Watching you get all tied up there. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Are puns not your thing? Oh my god. Wow! Oh, Corey! Let's
Let's go. Well, I got 11. He knew that. Nats. No, oh, come on. <laughs> he did the same. Dude, uh, uh, the Boy Scout the teacher. Man. These <laughs> Nats. <laughs> got, got him. That's good. Uh, sushi sink up. Sushi dish to its ingredients. Okay. Oh, oh. I love sushi. So easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. vegetarian. Why can't I find this one? Am I stupid? Oh, fuck me. I'm so dumb, man. I'm, e I... Oh. Never mind, oh, that's bad. right. That's bad. Um... This well, is just, do you know guys... Japanese? I'm sorry, but... No. He's cracked. Oh, I'm thinking of Uni. Never mind, I'm, I'm ruined. I'm so fucking bad at this. I thought <laughs> I was going to be so much better. Mm. I only got two. I got it. I got my ass beat. Like. Oh, oh, I thought Tobiko was. Oh, I picked the wrong egg. Why did I not get Kansas. eel, dude? Yeah, I got eel. Yeah, this is the fresh That's water. That's the obvious one. I yeah, didn't get eel it. was like one of the only ones I got. Yeah. That's because uh, I got flooded because I read it as uni first, so I spent like 10 seconds mm. looking for fucking. Uh, urchin and i was like where is it um, i know i'm a sushi guy but i only ever get fucking toro that's it <laughs> the answers that fit guys this oh, one's no. not not happening for me Fuck. well this one was kind of crazy because like my big fat greek wedding is a greek classic but is it oh fuck yeah you're right Wait, what? It's just not like from the classic era. It's from like 2002. Does that count? That's the classic the era, classic. dude. When he, we, the, the dad put the Windex on his zit. Remember that? Oh, can I go back? The one I've has never to seen be, it. Yeah, Electra yeah, has to it. be in there. God damn it. Carmen Electra is there. <laughs> That's a good point. I should have got 12. <laughs> I'm getting rinsed this fucking game. The frogs is one, bro. That's they don't say that in Greek though. What is? Yeah, that? it's not Greek, man. That's not Greek. It's uh, le the word froggy. the frog didn't exist yet. <laughs> the word for frog didn't exist yet. Is that what you said? No, like the word frog itself probably wasn't real yet. Amphibian. What do I have? Hmm. Oh. I got to put down You're my rich. two slices. An amphibian. Dude, I'm, I'm, the, me, me, Chip, and Justin ain't winning this one, man. Yeah. No, nah, it's not over till it's over, dude. If you oh, if you baby. go all in twenty times in a row, you're a billionaire. <laughs> Why don't you start things off? It's like the Bloodstone. <laughs> yeah. I'm not dizzy. I promise you. No. Yeehaw. Oh Holy my. Man. God. That's the worst possible spin I could have done. Yep. <laughs> That's the first time the wheel's given me points, bro. You're up. Well, you're still winning. This is a... That's yeah, a full send. That's a full send. You nasty man. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> oh wait. Good. There is a strategy. New I'll take a 4K. It's about the best thing that could happen to me. Yeah, it's a full spin. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Okay. okay, I'll take it. You know, it's points. It's something. Getting Give them on points. the board. Give me points. It's your turn. What? what? Okay. I'll take I want it. points. I'll take, it. I'll take it. Bro spun the piss splitter. Come on, man. Yeah. There's so much green on there. Hit the green. Let's finish strong with one last There's a lot of green. Spin. Okay, I got one solo. This is a big spin. I need this to have a chance. I think you should hit the power slice. We haven't seen a power slice in so long. One chip. He's no spinning. He's no spinning. He's no spinning. He's no spinning. He's, no spinning. Sorry. Oh, no, he spinning. He's delay stuff spinning. Lately. Yay! Whoa! That's a WCS right there. It was right there. It was so, it's so close. close. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Get oh, oh, man. man. Dude, I didn't get like any action there. That's that incredible. Chance. It's okay. You used up all your action in the first round. You still you're, still, you're in five digit swag, bro. <laughs> I gotta get everything right here. I gotta get everything right here, man. I'm mewing. <clears throat> so I'm really winning in this call. No, I'm so bad at the being all seeing and all knowing. What physical sense do I identify with? Not that many. This is correct, yeah. 
sure gonna need some clues, right? Look, I enjoy a chocolate mousse cake sacrifice as much as the next guy, but it's not my sense of taste. What? Are we fucking stupid? <laughs> Are what? we fucking dumb? I <laughs> think so, man. Smell the roses once, but turns out I what the no fuck? Nails. Uh. What? I'm a big music fan. Huh? Hearing isn't my What the fuck? <laughs> I know the senses, man. I know. I... I'll tell you right now, it's not. No kidding. Five senses, or fuck. Seeing dead people, oh. Which of course I can, fuck. but frankly, <sighs> that's kind of boring to me. What the fuck, man? Horny. Oh! 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 You fuck got off! You fuck, man! Fuck you! I man. did. I typed it in so fast. <laughs> well, I think we'll all get point though. <laughs> we'll all get points though. Balance? Was it balance? Yeah. Oh. Like actually, oh, fucking stupid, dude. You, <gasps> you guys, you guys normally enjoy this. <laughs> That that's was good. that was the worst mouth, question. Mouth, I'm enjoying it right now. I tell you, mouth, that's like... minus one, man. It's doesn't count now. Oh, oh shit! Oh, <laughs> that was a question right. about you guys, not me. <laughs> well, that's roll us back. Roll it back. Roll it back. Oh, oh. Not, he doesn't need this. more points. Oh, I never seen this. Oh, I've seen it, but I don't remember it. Ah. You big dumb combat bits. Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking of the Miley Cyrus song. Right now. I couldn't even find them on your device without scrolling. Oh, God. What the heck I have no fucking Wait, clue. Are these things she hates or things she likes? I'm so that you haven't wow. seen the movie. The, the last thing she hates know? is that she doesn't hate any of the things, not even a little bit, not even at all. Well, you... also, sometimes you can hate something positive about a person because you don't want to actually like them, but you hate how much you like them. I, Ryan might have fucked me, so I picked all the good ones. Hey, that's, uh, I think, correct. Oh, that's exactly what you said. Because you know they're bad for you, and you don't want to like them, oh, but you date oh, them. That's, that's fucking embarrassing, it's, it's dude. It's so embarrassing, man. <laughs> like, this isn't even an important movie in any way. Bro, it's a classic! <laughs> classic? Like the 10 things I hate about you? No, it's from, like, 1999. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I was probably three when I watched Julia it. Julia Stiles, Heath Ledger. Oh, good. It's to make everyone look stupid. Oh, easy. Oh, Polo. Is it? There's four, right? This is just like a good shape. You want to get real close to the answer. Can someone help me with what uh -huh. I just said? It's less than ten. I have no idea, man. I think there's six. In, bro. I think there's four and then two transition I phases. Think there's this many. I think it's eight. You don't know how lucky you are you can say that number without people laughing at you, Ryan. Eight. He's right. Hey. He forgot this, the quarters, man. You forgot the quarters. This guy is obsessed with number. the moon. I forgot about that part. Waxing gibbous, waning gibbous, waxing crescent, waning crescent, quarter, quarter, full new. Bro, I'm gonna wax, wax my gibbous. Gibbous these nuts. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Me and Mal are gonna wax our gibbous. You, you fuck our game, he already has the, the points. The way I don't hate you a little bit, the way you lie, uh, brag about volunteering at an animal shelter, <laughs> your dumb combat boots, the way you cut your hair, the way you talk to me. You all look so out of breath. Just fly up here I got the power of thingy last time and I didn't get hit once, so. It's true. Good luck. Oh, we only have three slices? I got four slices <laughs> and I'm, I'm going meta. I got, I, I'm going to get four solos. Watch this shit. I'm just, I'm randomly all over the place. Oh, I got three. Oh, I was almost right. I only got one solo, but I'm okay with that. We're gonna start okay. Some big spins here. Some big spins. We can bring this one back. This is Come, on, Come on, Mal. Come on, Mal. Big spins. We can bring this one back. Come on, Mal. Come on, Mal. Wow! wow! <laughs> Wait, is he in? Is Bro! Me. He's gonna spin. He gets the first spin. Mouth, do you win on the first Ooh. spin? Does he win yes, on the first spin? I think I do. He fucking did. He 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 did. He
I think you I should. guess no is the answer. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a, a mud no. bath. A little mud bath will do it. Got a dirty sun. Oh, that's a quick sun bath. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> I should have won earlier. I should have got all sorts of points in round two, man, and I didn't get any. My name is Mud. My name is Mud. Well, it was fucking one of yous. <laughs> hey, he's already he's got, it. He's yeah, got yeah. it. He's got it. Disgusting. Disgusting. You know nothing, John Snow. You're thinking, where are my two slices? They're here. Settle down. I just wanted to kiss you down there. You know nothing, John Snow. What are the eight taxonomic categories? Ryan, you better get this right. Oh, this is so easy. Is it one, two, well, I think we've had this one before. No, we have. I think I got all of them. That's four, five, uh, six, ah, uh, seven. Ah, uh, she really makes it hard. Six is in seven. Am I crazy? Uh, uh, Shad on a turtle. Them in a row. What do I know about being no, you're wrong. Oh. It, it did. I think it's in order, but it did put it did. five of them in a row. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Why did it do that? I thought you said eight in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck what? Donkey Kong Division plays cool or fun <clears throat> games, sir. A phylum? Oh, no. Three? You get 3,000 points for getting it right? Here's my phone. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're just learning how the game works. Oh! <laughs> oh this is bullshit. This is so bullshit. I haven't read this Fuck. since I was four years old, man. I don't know what this is. It's a book. I'm in. Am I, I trying to give I a real one. answer? A book of this shit is one. is locked in, man. Fuck. No I idea. I don't care. I don't care. I'm pissed. I'm so mad, actually. I know it was written well, by Eric Carle. So true. <laughs> Uh, caterpillars actually shouldn't eat chocolate because it kills them. <laughs> well, the, in the in the story, he gets a tummy ache. So. Oh. Hey, well, you just got one the there. Monster. Yeah. <laughs> I've not read this one. So my wish list. Didn't it. you do a speed run where you read it? Oh fuck! I did. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's over for me. Me too. Oh. Yay! Oh, not cottage cheese. Man, it was just all the I thought things. one. I, I thought one spoonful right. of cottage cheese was like weird enough. What? No, he eats through a, a regular piece of cheese, like a piece of Swiss cheese. Uh, Question three and a power slice go hand in hand. Give me another, please enumerate. Yes. Yeah, Frank, uh, he did, dude. How many birds were trained to be used in the movie? Okay. Oh, didn't we have this already? Impossible to know. I don't think so. It's not impossible. I know it. I've got it in. It just came to me. I hope it's. I think it's gonna be low. <laughs> I mean, they didn't train like ten thousand birds, right? Uh, well, a hope. movie takes years to film, and birds only live like six months. And the correct answer what? Is... What? Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> it I oh, want to yeah, see a documentary on that guy. Where they they the the 3,200 birds? I mean, if There's you train seed. one, train a bunch, right? <laughs> they just train that many birds yeah, in the what's movie? What's the definition of train? You know? Bro, the movie industry is just a front for money laundering. There is no way that they needed to pay all of that money to train all those fucking Holy. birds, bro. That's fine, he threw, uh, um, they threw seed it's, down it's, and were like, these yeah, birds are trained. 3,200 of them. Yes, oh, so yeah. Glad I got the power slice. It's gonna do nothing. <clears throat> There's a colorful like, like the, the wheel. It looks like yeah, 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 yeah. We kind of picked our segments. It's got a nice little gradient about it. Well, I picked the best. Oh, one, right probably. in between all of mine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it was right in between. All of mine. It's not that funny. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh power slice, oh. huh? <laughs> really good, really good thing to get. Well, Chip Watch is going to turn into a power slice though this time. <sighs> Lightning doesn't yeah, strike twice in the same spot. One, one more. Last time. One more. Corey's going to spin the same thing. Watch. Gradually slowing down. Can you? Wow. Wow. I'll take some points. Ev everybody gets points. Yeah, everybody. Every single person. You already got gets... some points, Apollo. Okay. <laughs> You and yeah, Ryan. Took nothing. Hmm. Well, hmm. A big spin here. It's a big. Spin I would here. love to see mm -hmm. the power slice just because it's been so long. Power me. Small spin. Thank you. That would. Power you take one for the team. Him. That's a BCS. Thanks, bro. <laughs> He's using the lingo. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. For me, I'm Ghibli, I'm, you need there's to a take great, There's a great Ryan Jesus. spot with Ryan points. You should take right. the Ryan points. You should nah. take the Ryan and... Wow, you're going to take Cory and Mouse points? Send them into the fucking dirt? There you no. go. There you, you go. Take you fucking... Come on. There you go. You're going to take from That's Justin? Me. No, that take from Ryan. You're going to take, take from yourself? yourself? What the fuck? Maybe taking oh, wow. from oh, so many points from You sucked the shit. shit out of me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was the one rooting for the power slice. That was reverse Sorry. psychology. Mm -hmm. I just I my swag. The, the, the same page. <laughs> You're still gonna win, bro. You sucked my swag off. Yep. <laughs> Get up out of bed, suck his swag off. <laughs> Oh man. I'm here to ask question one, and you're here to answer it. Squeaky. <laughs> yeah, what is going on? It's not like a slide or something. I moved that shit. Oh, oh man. It's my mic arm. Okay. Oh, come on. Like. You see an answer that fits the prompt. Give it a little tap. That's what I would do. Ghoul. That's the character from Marvel. I almost picked that like an idiot. You almost picked Pepper Potts, bro. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure, whatever. No idea, honestly. There's one in here that. If there's a. That Am I, I stupid? Is it just a I sauce should, and it's not a pepper? It's just a sauce, I think. It's a pepper. Yeah, it uses, is it? Is it's it? a pepper! Wow! wow. Marisol is oh, one. I'm literally. Cherry! I'm literally cherry? growing Marisol. I, I'm literally growing it. I'm That's literally fucking... growing it. I bought it specifically this year because I've never grown. Oh my god. Yeah, but it's like probably not a pepper. It's probably like a fruit somehow. No, it's probably some what? semantic. They're all fruits. <laughs> <laughs> what? No way, bro. No. Who the fuck is that? Who is George Tolte? He's he's very decorated like... apparently. Dolly Parton. Wow. I'm in what? zero, less bro. Than Taylor Swift, bro. What? Who's that? <laughs> Don't get my ass what? kicked. Bruce Springsteen? Who is that? Jay Z. I picked the wrong answer on the same question. Okay. Yo -Yo Ma has I'm learning. Taylor it. Swift? Who the hell is George Salty? Who is the Manhattan Project? Holy fuck. You don't know the, I'm the learning Manhattan if Project I don't like know that. a name just to pick it, because apparently they're the fucking most yeah. relevant celebrity in the world, bro. You're welcome. Take another. Disaster. Absolute disaster. Bro, yo, yo, Ma I'm flipping you all off. Swift. That fucking Answer broke my brain. Bro, Yo Yo Ma's been really? playing the cello for like 80 years, dude. They I give didn't know Taylor Swift even won Grammys. Play the cello? Yeah, yeah, man! Wow. <laughs> hey, you've just decided to spend your Too many words, I'm not reading it. <laughs> I, I built this. Where's the instruction booklet? No, <laughs> That's you. cheating. Fuck That's absolutely That's cheating. cheating. That's cheating, <laughs> Exactly. I went no. to Ikea with a polo. Yay! It was, it was around this many, I think. I'm gonna say something like this. I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't that many. They cram a lot of things in a step. Um, it's not that much. Yeah, wow. I got you. He's so I, right. I, 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 I didn't know what better steps were. Right, man? <laughs> I didn't know what steps were. <laughs> Maybe steps were like, designer, put the screws so. in, you know? It took like, like two hours, it was really easy. <laughs> I can't Too much for, like, for the steps <laughs> to build a fucking bookcase. Yeah, that was really easy. 
Are you, you using the hand? Like a lot. Like, you, you've not built a single book so uh, ever. You you've never built one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, Bro, I built it. It didn't take me two hours, like, though. Yeah, two <laughs> hours is not bad. I'm taking all the two axes. Do not touch them. I built one. You can't prove me wrong. I can. I know you haven't built one. No, prove me wrong what then. What the fuck? Fuck you, Chibli. Bro, we're cold. Maybe together. I haven't built one. You don't know. Luck, 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 skill, luck. Okay, I'll give it two hours is okay, whatever. I got oh, is so it, many the, damn is, slices. Wait, is the bookcase that big <laughs> fucking massive one in your room? Yes! Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> it's four by four, man. Oh, look at us. I'm not mad either. Oh, shit. It's four Jim. by four? Yeah. It's a stubby lad. Four by four. I hold your hey, books fucker. and other knickknacks. <laughs> Gravity finds you. <laughs> I can't lose. I got too many slices. No, yeah. no. Ooh, power slice. Rare. Oh, he's a power slice. He's going to put him up to like 19 grand. I won the first game, so. Ah. I just just give me any. Let me steal. Like Is it a fucking rainbow wheel? Uh, where's my slice owner at? Is it rainbow wheel? Oh rainbow shit! Wheel. One, one slice. slice on this one slice. No, I only need one, one spin. I only need one spin. Oh right. my god! It's a fun rainbow wheel, guys. Spin it! Keep spinning it! You you damn coward! <laughs> no no no! I not like this. You. you got the most squares, bro. Spin it. We get He's so few honor. rainbow wheels! We we don't the like dishonor. you right now. Oh, the this dishonor. is crazy. I just put a curse on you. You will never win the winner's wheel. He's reading the instructions on how to put a screw in the Billy Book. Curse lifted! Curse lifted! Keep going! Keep going! You lifted the curse. Yeah. I have lifted the curse on you. You will win. What? No. Recursed. <laughs> it seems like little, the little spin works for this, doesn't it? No. Oh. You, you got cursed, remember? Oh, I got cursed. You're cursed. cursed. It takes a day to wear, it takes a day to get taken off. <laughs> I have all of Dude, don't do it. Don't do it. I got so many days. You gotta give me it's more, man. Hit me, please. That's not you me. gotta be shitting me. Okay. Holy what cow. You can't read the wheel at all, man. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Discord dying? Let's get real no, Ryan. I think it was just Ryan. Ryan. What? I'm chilling, bro. <laughs> Apollo sounds robo to me. So do you. Okay, maybe it's everyone. Oh. Everyone sounds fine. My swag. <laughs> Some Canadians just told me I look like one of their toonies. Oh, Canadians. It's not even, that's not even true, bro. He looks like a loony, if anything. It's true. Yeah. Well, it's no, so the true. toonies got the little circle in the middle. Yeah, but this is, there's no silver in this guy. It's true. I hate Canadians. What? Oh, no, we're on blast. We're on blast. This is easy, bro. That one's easy. The left ones to the right ones. Mm, that one's this easy. is a, this is a problem. I recognize this name. What does she do? She does this? No. That's her. Huh. That. I'm the least misogynist. Oh, yeah. No, I you're just wrong. the most online. You're just oh, the dude, least I didn't get any wrong. wrong, bro. Let's go. Who, who does she do? Oh, she does that. Five she seconds to prove you're not time. misogynist. You're telling me this bro knows more phases of the moon than women athletes? <laughs> no, I, I feel like I had six and that's respectable. Oh, wow. yeah, that's Guys, I wouldn't Lee. know if it was men either. <laughs> <laughs> also, we don't have sports here at all. Name five men. Name five men. Google. I don't know. <laughs> yes! Yes! I thought you were going to say oh, Obama's yeah. wife's husband. Yeah, that's a gimme. That's a gimme. Ouch, yeah. my brain! <laughs> okay, this is harder than I thought. Why am I afraid of the bees? <laughs> this is way harder than scary. I thought. I didn't realize. Oh, I know that one for sure. Son of a bitch. I'm hitting submit. I feel good about that. 
I don't fucking know this what? shit at all, man. Why well, I'm afraid of bees is real. can be murder. The dude turns into a bee in that one. I remember it. He, well, I'm afraid of bees is 100% real. But I didn't recognize a lot of these. I didn't like that. Oh, it's no. the Apollo oh, Snowman. <laughs> I'm a killer snowman. A I had literally snowman. like 50 of these books. I hope I would do good. If you read these, you're childish. <laughs> He's right. Oh, because you're a child. <laughs> it's true. It's I was true. a child. I was a big fan of uh, barking, barking ghosts. Okay. I like say cheese and die. Mm. Which country had a easy, right? Oh, easy. Right? This should be easy. Yep. You think? Wrong. Wow, All I right. cannot believe I got that right. I thought I yeah. was wrong. I can't believe I got that fucking wrong. I can't believe I got that wrong. This is crazy. Oh my god, I'm uh, tumbled. I'm losing my mind at zero. <laughs> what? Wait, oh, I'm what? so stupid. I actually just fumbled uh, an unreal amount. Oh, really? Oh, you fucking oh, why did I I'm click? stupid, I'm stupid. Why did I click on that one? I'm stupid. <laughs> what? Ah! No I'm way. so stupid. It's crazy. God My damn it. Miles picked Philippines over India, dude. Like, <laughs> that is real. What's the population of Indonesia? Destroyed all that one. Are you ready for something yeah, sure. Indonesia was... <laughs> uh, surprise. I didn't think it was higher than Russia. So. What? Russia's like the... 12 people, man. I mean, they got like 100 million or something, big. but... They got a few. SoundCloud wrap a cover of Lean on Me, but it's about the drink. Yeah, yeah. We rock like them with it? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. I guess I'd have to oh. hear it. I gotta get away from Corey. Oh, me spin first, me spin first. I selected you to spin first. Fuck! I actually didn't even mean the baby spin there. I like misclicked. Cowardice. Misclicked, misclicked. Centripetal. Unwinnable. Oh, it's a loss. Sorry, Corey. No! Spoke too soon. Congrats, psychology, because I wanted you to win. Because I know what winning is like. It feels great. <laughs> Troll ass question. Troll ass no, question. Not even, not even a good question. Not even a good question. <laughs> Ch oh, Chat GPT oh, owns you. Answer. <laughs> what do you guys want to finish with? Yokobo? Yo yes! Yoke boat. That was my name, right? Yoke boat. My physical. Yoke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of something. Was it um, cheese sauce on tippy toes? Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you guys want to finish with? Um. Oh, the epic boob job, please, man. <laughs> well, Oh, oh. epic boob job. <laughs> epic boob job, please, ma'am. Cooking? I thought that was pretty good. Elon Anything Musk else? at the whorehouse. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> There's other names for it, bro. I had to pick something that had like a certain cadence to make the joke work. <laughs> <clears throat> Take your time, Ryan. It takes a minute to load. I, don't know. Mm. I heard that. Welcome Down aboard. glad rap a cover of talent. Lean on Me. Please sign in. Let's hear it. Lean on Lean on Me. Gulp. Gulp gulp. You guys remember the I'm joke boat? Lean. <laughs> Do you remember the joke boat password? <laughs> nope. Mm, nope. Apollo uh, might. Uh, this one, uh. <laughs> It's the, the, the app. I think he's right. Holy you, cow, you, man. Do you have a notepad? No, it's just a number. It's five digits, man. Yeah, I don't know. Like, this is the power of not doing four years of binge drinking in college. Like, you still yeah. got the fucking shit up there, man. You guys, my memory is horrible. So this is not... I don't think it is, man. I think you're proving the opposite right now. I Bro, forget I didn't shit even that remember. happened this morning. 
Yeah, but I forgot that I read the Hungry Caterpillar. You wanna, you wanna like, hear something like real fucked up? Like ago. Yeah. You know what I've been forgetting constantly and it's driving me insane? I'll fucking get into the shower and forget whether or not I've washed my hair yet. Oh, I do that all the time. Mm. <laughs> well, not my hair, but you know. <laughs> my hair wash is like a whole 10 minute process, bro. I can't forget that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry. Bit you ever, gassy today. You ever go oh, to yeah. the grocery store and they're like, are you part of the loyalty program? And then you say, yeah, can I give you my phone number? And then they say, sure. And then you forget your phone number because you're on the spot. I've, I've had, had that happen. Similar thing happened with my address. Yeah, like your postal code. They're like, what's your postal yeah. code? You're like, uh, uh, hang on, hang on. I have to trick myself into remembering it. I had a phase oh, where I could only remember my phone number with the international code at the start. So I would say it and they'd be like, oh, you're Australian? And I'd be like, no, no, I'm not. That <laughs> guy <laughs> fucking sucked, honestly. You've got time for one or two more. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to do Me too. poopies. Oh. Yada, yada. There's no way it's as bad as poopies. <laughs> I'm already, I'm in. I'm done. I'm done. Nice. Thanks. Ugh. This is just too obvious a joke, but that's all I got. I'm happy. Oh, I gotta do two jokes. You got a minute left. Okay. Oh. All right, hurry up, Ryan. Let's go, brother. Mm. We got jokes to tell. <laughs> <sighs> He's just mad because he didn't win the win. It's true. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to play Yo. solo after this. <laughs> he needs his fix. Okay. Well, going there, I guess. Tong sucks. I'm in. Oh, you guys are I waiting on me? This excited yeah. Since I had to bail oh, sorry. On that kid rock cruise. Let's hear it for our first comic. Give me in there, dude. Ah. Oh. Great. Remember to say I your need a max phrase. joke. My family is like John Travolta. When we get together, it's like Battlefield Earth. Three okay. percent. Fuck no! <laughs> God damn it! No. <laughs> the fucking okays. No, it wasn't bad. I'm so dumb. I thought gamers were marginalized. <laughs> Whoa! He's going there, bro. Holy! Which comedian won that face off? They're not anymore, right? Because Stellar Blade's coming out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the hell's that? Uh, you'd like it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's good, that's good. And you got him. To you. Oh. What the hell is it? 
All right, let's hear it. It's like a character board. action game where the lady has large physics. Bosom. <laughs> she has large, physics. large <laughs> physics. Yeah. <laughs> Great way to describe it. When I was a kid, we didn't have a Coke Zero can. We had Diet Coke can. <laughs> He's so right. It's an anti joke. <laughs> I mean, it's real though. Y'all like my daddy? Yeah. Why are they called robots and not, hmm, automatons? Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. It's backwards, though, isn't it? Mm. Isn't it automatons, hmm? Well, I didn't. Nobody wrote automatons. Nice job, so I had to. <laughs> I had to work with what I got, okay? Well, you could have wrote Isn't up that... on the But then I, would have, I, I wouldn't have gotten it. For your feet. Oh, <laughs> it sings, bro. It sings every time. Hands are tip of the hat to you. Holy, dude. Zero percent of the votes? It's this. Things, huh? We need the audience. <laughs> My doctor said I have a bad case of the puddles <laughs> because I keep letting the poopies drip out my poot hole. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh no, and it's gonna win. <laughs> Please, Please don't. don't let it win. <laughs> Northern Lion looks like a cross between a dad and a bald ass bitch. Hey. Oh, it's gonna oh. win, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up. <laughs> I, oh, this game. <laughs> so quick. It went so, so quick. So it was instant, man. <laughs> this is like when the, the polls close in Oklahoma and they announced that the Republican won the state like a second later on CNN. <laughs> Marriage is a lot like riddles. Thy one whom consumes eats directly from the source. <laughs> Fuck me. I like my friends like I like my shits. Get Together. <laughs> okay. Oh. God damn. <laughs> I finished both of my jokes no. like 10 seconds. I don't know what happened. <laughs> that, one, that one's really fucking good. Who voted? No. Who voted? That, that was so I voted Chibli. Who voted Justin? Admit yourself. Hey, I swear to you it wasn't me, Let's which means it must be Corey. Oh, right. oh. I call my bedroom the truck stop because only big sweaty men are allowed. It's not, okay. it, women are allowed in the truck stop, man. Yeah. There are women truckers. The dude's never been to a truck stop. I went to the Flying J once. I have more throws up than <laughs> touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. man. All right. <laughs> How do you type that? That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> okay. And how about some points for you as well? <laughs> Let's keep this joke boat. All right, Ryan, bring it back. I don't know, man. <laughs> God created bumper cars by making me forget which pedal was gas and which one was brake. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no, it's the heater. My love life is like George Washington. W. Bush. <laughs> hey, what? what? George, okay, George okay. Washington, W. Bush. Yeah, George, yeah, it's just George Bush. George W. Bush. I should have taken out the W, bro. You didn't do W. Blair. Wow! Oh. <laughs> I thought I was giving him a pity vote. Holy. We don't appreciate derivative comedy here. We're so back. Disgusting. I'm gonna put you in the plastic. Let's look at our starboard. <laughs> That's boat jokes. My life is in shambles. A term for oh, giving someone look. a swirly in the year some 2057 <laughs> when <laughs> toilets are made out of plastic. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in the plastic. Die who can consume. 
directly <laughs> from the source. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, we're sinking again. Mm. There's no time. I'll just skip it. Okay. Don't give me that Let's joke. Don't give it. me the die joke. Trim. It's impossible. It's impossible. No! no. Oh, <laughs> My ears. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. Oh, that's disgusting. I don't know what that's that's disgusting. This might be too gross to write. Me describing the symptoms of my food poisoning to my doctor on Zoom. I'm thinking, sorry. I just want to say this is a joke. This is not what my love life is like. Mine is terrible, but... Did the best I could. <laughs> 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 Mine is shit. The real tragedy would be not finishing the show. So let's bring back our comics. Corey. Oh, brother. Why am I always very... Just get it over. LeBron James be like, I like my friends like I like my shits. Fast and loose. Mm. <laughs> Every time Justin makes a noise after Corey's joke, it's like... What? <laughs> it's it's doomed. What? <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> oh, uh... It's so bad when you pick a joke that lost and then you get shellacked by it. <laughs> <clears throat> Marriage is a lot like riddles. <laughs> it gets smaller the more of it there is. What? Huh. I don't get it, brother. Thanks for the Which points. <laughs> Or oh, maybe not. You want to explain yourself, Ryan? We, but, no! Okay, his was objectively a better riddle than mine, but like no one was getting it, and I didn't want to say that like well, it was actually it? just a riddle. My riddle was too good, what? man. What? How does it feel, Ryan? It's a it fucking feel? hole it or something. How does it feel? That's How's not feel? a riddle, though. <laughs> that, oh my god. <laughs> when I was a kid, we didn't have a Coke Zero can. We had Coke One Does. Stop. <laughs> Fuck. Come on. <laughs> no. I'll take it, I'll take I thought it. it was pretty yeah, good. Okay. Oh. You never know where you stand with that guy. All right. My doctor said I have a bad case of the puddles. No, no. Because I ain't got no damn pud. The puddles. <laughs> the puddles, yes. The puddles. He's French. Come on. Oh, but the whole is, is the best. <laughs> I understand. That, that joke has swept twice. I understand. Because <laughs> I keep letting the poopies drip out my poot hole. <laughs> He's gonna lead him to victory. Oh, I'm, so gen I'm genuinely sorry. My love life is like George Washington. Popping all the cherries. Oh, wow. He didn't chop down he the tree, down the, bro. He chopped down the tree, man. He cannot tell a lie. Yeah, right. What if that was a lie? Oh, there, he's got it. Yeah. I'll take it. Johnny, Johnny. Mm. Oh, he did top down the tree, though. Didn't he not do it, and that's the thing? No, he did it, and then he said that he did it. He doesn't tell a lie. Oh. I mean, that was like the little food where he, he didn't act. I call my right. bedroom okay. the truck stop because I got heated toilet seats and lots of soup. 
What? <laughs> <laughs> that toilet seat's in his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> if, they, if they have heated toilet seats at the truck stop? It probably wouldn't hurt. I, don't know. <laughs> truck stop, man. I, I voted for it. Thank you. Oh, a nice boy. truck stop, man. It's enough for a victory, I think. No, I think you swept. Yeah. That, that was my only non-sweep. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Holy, oh, man. Oh, no, it was close, Dude. though. Damn. Congratulations. Damn, damn. I just got, I can't believe we got 4,000 points from my <laughs> pooties keep falling out of my poot <laughs> That was, the, was the, the joke of the day. That's Pretty crazy. Good. Oh, man. Oh, I'm fine. Well, good gaming. Good gaming. Good gaming. Good gaming. Have a great gaming, weekend, gamers. Gaming. Have a Yo. wonderful weekend. Good you games. <laughs> Hope you sell lots of plushies. Thank you! Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Bye. 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 Shout out Walter Mondale for tanking that 1984 election damage. Nobody was beating Reagan in 84. Somebody had to sacrifice their political career at the altar. Thank you, Walter Mondale. We appreciate you. <laughs> yes, we love America. It's a good song. I hear my wife in the kitchen. Which means she may not be ready to stream, but let me go check. Hello gamers, she is ready to stream. Then the boys took up and took all of my corn. Sheriff John Stone, why don't you leave him alone? Yeah, yeah. This is the worst trip I've ever been on. So, a uh, guy in the Beach Boys who just repeats what the last guy said, but deeper come on the john b see how the main sail that's me what are you talking about you don't know pet sounds bro you don't know pet sounds you don't know like uh they say I got brains, but they ain't doing me no good. I wish they could. No, I'm clicking the damn button then. Have a good weekend.